Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Connection Check. My name is Gamers101. I am joined here today by Shelby the Sherbert, as usual. And we'll also, also as guests, we have our friend Josh, a.k.a. You Nerve Herder, one of the Rage Running Show cast members here with us today. Hey, how's it going, everybody? And this is episode two. The first time, we um, it was just me and Shelby. We mostly discussed our background in machinima making and being on YouTube and all the stuff we've done in terms of content-wise. Not really all of it, but most of it. So, this time around, we want to try to cover some actual gaming like habits, gaming topics, uh, and also how Shelby met Josh. Mostly those two specifically, because the way I met Josh was boring. Theirs is a little more. <laughs> theirs is a little more interesting. So. Oh man. Is it? <laughs> but we got we got a few things to talk about today. We're gonna talk about that. Uh, some work horror stories, or just work stories in general, um, and some other uh, gaming topics, and so on and so forth. So, uh, first and foremost, let's go with uh, how Shelby met Josh. Which one of you wants to take the reins on that? Uh, since Josh seems the most excited about it, he can go ahead and take this. <laughs> I love telling people this story because it's so unique. And, and if you know Shelby, it's completely in brand for him. All right. So me and Shelby, we worked. I think we started working around the same time, didn't we, Shelby? Uh, roughly, I would say so. Yeah, I, I think you were within a few weeks of me. But like, we started at this real, a place called McDonald's. <laughs> As you all know, that's a really shitty place to work. We're all bright-eyed. I think Shelby was like 22. I was 21. We're all, all bright-eyed and excited to get to work. Yeah. Well, I think, Shelby, sure. I think, I, I, the backstory, I think we had talked about, like, I know the next-gen consoles were coming out, which at the time was PS4 and Xbox One, so that tells you how long ago this was. And uh, <laughs> I don't, we, had chat a little, we had talked a little bit before that, just, like, about games and stuff, because we, we were excited. And then, Shelby, I don't, rem I don't exactly remember how this got prompted. Did we talk about, like, did we do goofy voices with each other before... You did this? The, the, no, we most certainly did. Uh, goofy I, I know voices. it amplified. I know it amplified after, but I know for sure we were doing that beforehand. I, I would do like a. I, I don't remember how it started, but I was doing like a little goofy, like ah ha ha, like Mandark from Dexter's Lab. You know, not Dexter's yeah. Lab, Dexter's Lab, but ah ha ha, ah ha 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 ha. <laughs> well, I was doing that one day. I was on the grill, and Shelby used to do like he used to get like towel buckets and stuff for like because we you know you need towel buckets to clean the grill, and he would he would have to go to the the washing machine and get new ones or whatever. It was his whole deal, and. Uh, I'm sitting there on the grill, and Shelby comes by, and he, he was just chatting for a little bit and having fun. And then I, I'm talking to the the um, manager's uh, mom, also worked with us. I'm sitting there talking to her because she's super nice. Shelby just a dead ass just looks at me and goes, "I'm going to bone your mother." <laughs> and I'm like, and he, "No, he just keeps walking. Like he he says that, <laughs> looks at me, and keeps walking." And so I'm like, I, I'm sitting there looking at this lady. I'm like, her name is Miss Sherry. I'm looking at her like, so did he just? Did, was that like we're sitting uh -huh. like, like did he really just fucking do that shit? And then, like, and then I'm like, Shelby, I have to know what was your what were you doing when you were walking away? Being me. Did you being, have a goofy ass me. grin on your face? Shelby had a trademark <laughs> goofy ass grin on his face. I guarantee you. But I'm just sitting there like, no, no, I looked at him dead in the fucking eyes. I'm just imagining no, no, losing not contact even. at all. And I said that, and I walked backwards while maintaining eye contact. I, I just imagine this <laughs> deadpan look that's just... That. You literally just deadpan, dead ass looked at me in the eye and walked backwards. And I'm like, what the fuck is wrong? Okay. <laughs> and I was like, and then like, I was like, okay, so that guy's pretty unique. <laughs> I, I want to be friends with this guy. I, oh. I decided to be friends with that guy, and here we are today. <laughs> but yeah, that's how I met Shelby. <laughs> I'm going to bone your mom. <laughs> I want to be friends with that guy. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I, I decided I want to be friends with that guy, <laughs> not any of the other people. I want to be friends with the guy who does the Skeletor voice. <laughs> and after that, like, I would see Shelby because we we I think we did we start hanging out after. It was a little bit before we started hanging out in person, but like, I, I think I remember like doing the Mandark voice more often. I would see Shelby I'd be like, yeah, <laughs> he'd be like, we would I would do goofy voices and like I would do Mandarks with like ah ha ha ah ha ha, and he would do like. I'm going to get you. It was just so stupid. Jeez. Like, like the bosses hated us. Like they, they just always put us away from each other because if we were together, we were never going to get any damn work done. <laughs> the oh problem, my god! The problem with doing that, though, if they did that, they still wouldn't get any work done. I would somehow like, like, oh my! It was just like, so, it was fun working with Shelby. Like that place was bearable because of him, and then he left me behind to go to Target. Boy, uh, well, I suppose <laughs> that's a. I suppose that's a good enough place to transition into our next uh, topic here, which is work stories. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> mine are a little more tame, and I'll probably actually go ahead and take mine and go last. Oh, so okay, <laughs> uh, Shelby, you go ahead and go first. I say. All right. Okay. So I got a bunch of freaking uh, stories from McDonald's. I have some for Target, and I even have some kind of where I work now. But there's no, like those are pretty tame. So let me go uh, to uh, McShits and. The one I'm thinking about telling, uh, Josh, I don't believe you were there that day. And if you were, you left early. Um, yeah. It, didn't, it was getting close to the end of my shift, right? Uh, I was up over by the fryer. And one of our managers went to the back uh, to the back and into the kitchen. I could hear her talking to everybody back there. She was basically saying, all right, everybody, before you leave, just make sure everything's restocked and stuff and ready for the next shift. Which is like, okay, whatever. And I'm, that had nothing to do with me. But as I'm uh, doing the fryer, there's this one guy that comes out of the kitchen. Uh, I don't even remember his name. Like, he was there for a very short period of time. But he didn't have a ride home, and he was wondering if I could give him a ride. And I'm like, sure, I get off in the next few minutes. I'll give you a ride. And uh, so, finish up what I'm doing. Restock the uh, fryer. And then um, I'm on my way out to my uh, shitty neon I had at the time. <laughs> and uh, I'm about to unlock the door and let him in. And then here comes this manager out saying, where are you going? Where are you going? And I'm like, and they're like, uh, taking this guy home and then going home myself. You didn't stock the freaking freezers and stuff. And I'm looking at her like, uh, keep in mind, this is the kitchen, not the fryer. Uh, and I'm just me and this guy looking at each other, and he's just like, Whoa. What? <laughs> and yeah, he had to send that freaking duck face going like, Ooh, <laughs> 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 I'm looking at her, it's like, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, no, <laughs> the duck face thing got me. I'm apologizing. Story. <laughs> That's what he did, though. I'm going to fucking start making that noise out of nowhere now. <laughs> that needs to be an emo jacket. Ooh, 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 ooh. But, Rage um, Rody, ooh. Yeah, I, me and him are looking at her. We look back at her, and I'm like, I wasn't even in the kitchen. You were talking to everybody. And she's like, no, nah, I was talking to you. And I'm like, where? There's a bunch of appliances in the way, and there's this little opening you can look through out. Do you, are, you, are you fucking, like, do you have an extendable neck where you can just... <laughs> Pop out wherever you fucking want. I love the where. Like, <laughs> it is like, because I don't remember you coming up behind me and saying, "Oh, uh, could you like stock this up before you leave?" Then it should like the, the way she was going, she was probably going to be on the verge of blocking me from pulling out of the fucking parking lot. Yeah, Jesus Christ! Like, yeah, dude, I, 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 honestly, I remember this lady she's talking about. It's like she didn't do that, but I was, I was imagining it about to happen. And uh, needless to say, the other guy just kind of went off the other way. He was like, peace. And I'm like, bro, I don't even blame you, but fuck you for leaving me. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll find, on second thought, I'll find my own ride. Uh, thanks for the offer. but <laughs> Yeah, but mm. kind of went into a bickering contest, me uh, and her back and forth. And as a result, I went back in, and I shoot the clock back in, and I'm like... <laughs> And honestly, I probably should have just ran her over, but <laughs> oh my god, because <laughs> I like it had nothing to do with me. But I wind up going in, I grab the stuff, and I just like I half ass everything. I just freaking grab like like oh yeah, hey, what's your fucking chicken? Here's your fucking chicken. Here's your fucking McDoubles. Your fucking patties. Your fucking fish. Oh, no. Fuck you. I just looked at her and gave her a look as I walked back out to my car, and then I freaking sped off and went back. <laughs> home you got i will say and, this you've got a much higher level of tolerance than i do because like oh uh, he did at that time i don't think he does anymore <laughs> well yeah but like even when that type of stuff happened to me at Wendy, something similar happened uh I'm, and this will be very short by the way it's just uh, someone tried to come outside and tell me to do something and i went oh would you look at that i'm clocked out suck my dick and i left <laughs> i have a, i can i can i do a little story real quick or do you have another one shelby because oh, no, i have plenty no, of no, you, no i know you got plenty okay, so shelby and zach i'm you guys both, you, zach i'm sure you're aware of this like you, you live in a cold place where it gets cold, too. Yep. It was fucking freezing one winter, right? Some dumbass decided that they wanted to uh, throw the cardboard boxes everywhere, so our dumbass manager goes, Hey, Josh, uh, can you go out there and um, you know, put, the, put the boxes in the dumpster? I go out there, and I shit you not, it is filed to the top, and there oh, is a, it's probably hundreds of boxes. And I'm sitting there fucking freezing my ass off, right, just cleaning this up. 
And he comes out with a big ass grin on his face, like, "Oh, good, good job, Josh. Good job, Josh. Good job. Uh, make sure to go inside to warm up." Uh, oh, I never okay. would have thought of that. I thought I would just stand out here and freeze all fucking day. You want to help me with this shit or not? Like, <laughs> come Dick. out here and just be like, "Hey, hey, uh, good job. Uh, uh, don't forget to come inside to to to, to, to warm up. I mean, you, you, you know, Wait, just, I actually up. don't remember this. You, yeah, it, you weren't there that day. I would have ranted you. I'm sure." It was fucking uh, the the owner's husband or husband or son or some shit. It was the same guy that did the too much waste thing. We'll we'll go into that later. But okay. I'm like I'm like wow you fucking dick. You just sit there and go oh good job. Uh, well, you you can go inside and and get, and get some coffee or something to warm up. I'm like, is this the okay. reminds me of show me is uh huh uh huh. <laughs> Yeah, like, mm-hmm. except, except he deliberately came out just to do that and go back inside. He literally what? did. I told <laughs> Shelby that story later, but he literally was like, "Oh, I'm gonna go back inside now." I'm like, "I should just walk the fuck out right now." It's like so many times I, I I worked there for four years. I'm a dumbass. Okay. It's like I have the courtesy to at least stay there and keep doing it while he just went back inside. Right. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I know. God, that's not the first time that dumpster was fucking filled. Oh, I know. I cleaned it up multiple fucking times because people were so It was stupid. trash. I felt like we were at fucking Rumpke. In fact, um, Rumpke wouldn't come up and get the cup there a couple times. They I don't know why it. they didn't. But no, like, Rumpke won't pick it up if it's too fucked up. Rumpke's a garbage place in our town, by the way. We have yeah, but, but the thing is, it took a freaking uh, one of the uh, maintenance men there. I don't think it, I can't remember uh, the guy that we used to work I like with. Steve. But, Steve was cool. But uh, he had to pull Jason um, uh, or Bob, Bob, uh, out there <laughs> uh, to uh, show him the thing. Then finally, after a few days, it was gone. But I remember having to climb that. It's like, my God, mm-hmm. if getting over it existed at that time, I felt like I was playing that. <laughs> Tell me what I love about that place is like we would lose a maintenance man like every week. <laughs> like, they'd be like, oh, we have the guy he quit. Oh, yeah, or he quit. It's like, I wonder fucking why. <laughs> uh, I got some more stories I can tell, but I want Zach to get uh, an opportunity yeah, let's, let's to tell get something. Zach to too. Yeah, yeah. So me. I don't really have any like uh, what I would call horror stories necessarily because for the most part, uh, I was either a dick and didn't do the things they told me to do, <laughs> or <laughs> alternatively, uh, I should have been fired numerous <laughs> times. Oh, same here at my job. But uh, <laughs> so <laughs> I'll, I'll go. I'll take it a step back. My current job. Uh, the only issue I have with my current job is a certain coworker who we've all dubbed a dial up. But <laughs> we'll we'll get into that one later. I'm gonna take it a step back and go all the way back to when I worked at Wendy's. So and ultimately working there wasn't the worst thing ever. But I mean, fast food's still shitty no matter how you put it. And so. Ultimately, it's like, you catch me on just a really bad day, you're going to get a really bad version of me. And on this particular day, uh, I was the person taking orders on drive through so someone would come through, I'd take their order. And at this Wendy's, we had the two-window system, so you pay at one window, you pull up to the next window, and then, you know, you get your food and you fucking leave. So, this dude comes up to the drive through takes his order, pulls up to the first window, changes his order, which, every time you change an order... Uh, a manager had to go over there and put their thumb on a little thumb scanner because uh, authority and permissions and stuff, employees couldn't just change orders that had already been processed. So every time this happened, a manager had to go and change it. <clears throat> so this dude changes his order, pays for it, comes up to the second window, and wants to change it again. Oh, hell no. <laughs> so, yeah. so I already know where this is going. <laughs> so he, we oblige him. And I'm just sitting here like, this is stupid, obviously. And this is like 1130 at night, okay? We're like half an hour away from closing. And so oh, this dude uh, this dude comes up. He wants to change his order again. We have to take his credit card and refund it and re- recharge it. We give it back to him. And he like pulls his phone and he's like, hey, wait a minute. I need to, I need to do something else. And... <laughs> He's getting mad just banking up that. Uh, <laughs> so here's here's what happened. He tries to change it a fourth time. And at this point, I realize that he's laughing. And oh. I lean out the window and say, you either take this food or I'm going to shove my foot so far up your ass is going to come out of your mouth. <laughs> I leaned out the window to get in this dude's face <laughs> and said, listen, shit fuck. I'm g- <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> and the the, the look he gave me was that of pure terror. Uh, <laughs> uh, this was like, like he must have been like fucking sixteen, seventeen, skinny ass little dude. 
was like, did he just say that? And he's just, just, I, he was clearly surprised that I did that. I'm like, motherfucker, you are going to take the shit you ordered and get the fuck out of here before I sit on you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so he took the food, and ha- happily so, and he left. And when I jumped back, got back in the window, I was fortunate enough that the manager there was one of those managers that just doesn't give a fuck. But she was just like, bruh. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, if I hadn't done that, he probably would have changed his fucking order again. Yeah, and like, and don't you fucking hate those last minute orders, man? Like, that used to happen a lot of when I used to work back in La Rosa's oh, down yeah. here. Oh, yeah, that was bullshit. I'm just like, <clears throat> not only is it like a last minute order, but each is there wasting our fucking time. It's like the classic, I come in at the 10 minutes before the store closes thing. Like, you know? Mm-hmm. It's, like, it's different if you come in, home, like, you come in, make your order, and get the fuck out. Like, I can respect it when you're quick about it and you're like, you realize what you're doing. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Like, brother, it's 1130. You're, you're, no, fuck you. Mm-hmm. We're, we're closing in like half an hour and you're over here changing the fucking order. I'm like, I will jump out this window and I will beat your fucking ass. <laughs> I will stick my foot so far up your ass. It's going to come out of your mouth. <laughs> He was uh he was genuinely surprised I did that. I have a, I have another one more particularly interesting story about Wendy's, but I'll let Shelby take over for now. All right, okay. Shelby. Yeah, yeah I'll do another one, and then what? Do we want to go to Josh? Then you, Zach? Or? Yeah, yeah, I'll do, do one more each. Well, I have a couple more. Yeah, but okay, okay. I actually have one that I don't think I told you guys about Ooh. that I just re- remembered. Um, <laughs> so there was a day that I didn't want to go in to work. I was dreading, and at this point, I think I was getting close to leaving. And not quite yet, but it was just starting to build up. I just look at the time, and I just keep groaning like, oh, I don't I don't want to. <laughs> so he's like, you know what? I'm Fuck it. I'm going to call off. I call up. One of the managers there at the time picked up, and they're like, hey, what's up? What's going on? And I'm like, hey, uh obviously faking it, not feeling good and stuff like that. And just for a quick note, this place thinks they were so fucking high tier that they would try and get people to constantly go and get doctor's notes for everything. Even if you just need oh, a I know. little bit of that bed, was bed rest. I agree with you on uh, that one. That is just really dumb. You're a fucking fast food restaurant. You're nothing special. Yeah. Um, that later. But yeah. But, um, but anyway, um, I tell her I'm not feeling good. And, uh, She's like, okay, if you don't show up, it's a call, no call, no show. And I'm like, I pause. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Run that by me again? <laughs> she's like, if you don't show up, it's a no call, no show. And I'm like, we're on the phone. On the phone with you I right now. Fucking called you. <laughs> I have you in my freaking history. 145, Tuesday, 2013, September 15th. Wow, that'd be funny if that's actually the date. Is no, that really, like, the right for you? Like, date. Uh, no, I don't remember the fucking date. What was it September? I know that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but my point remains the same. <laughs> I would laugh if you had that and, memorized. <laughs> and she's like, keep going back and forth with each other. Like, it's like, bro, I just need some fucking bed rest. I'm not feeling too great. Oh, but it's a uh, no call, no show. Okay, Shelby, can I, I add to that or something if you're done? Because I have something to tell you that's pretty fucked up that they did. Speaking oh, of no call, no shows. Yeah, that's pretty much what happened. Um, unfortunately, my sister, you know, she was a whole deal thing. She got she passed away. I told them that she passed away, and I needed to get off to her funeral. Motherfucker, don't you know that when I came in the next day after her funeral, yo, you know, I'm still you, obviously you still grieve after the funeral. So I'm still grieving. So they go, why weren't you here? You didn't tell us that her funeral was that day. I wanted to walk the fuck out. I I was like, no, no. Like, what do you mean? I, I told you that I was going to be gone. Like, I needed the funeral off. Oh, you didn't tell us. We, we, we didn't know you were going to be gone. I'm like, all right. Um, okay. That, after that, I stopped giving a fuck. That was that was the moment when I stopped giving a fuck about that place. Wait, I, I stopped trying altogether. I was like, okay, again, I say, you. you guys have much more tolerance than me. I, I probably would have killed somebody. Oh, well, yeah. honestly, that, that probably yeah, would have been enough. Would have, but, you know, like, like, the funeral thing would have been enough for me to just walk out, even if I was jobless for a while. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's just the line you like. I, you cross the line at that point. No, it's like that was the most fucked up thing anyone's ever said to me. Like we, we didn't even know you were going to be gone for a funeral. Uh, Motherfucker, <laughs> I just lost my sister. Are you fucking serious? You think I care about fucking McShits that much? Which, by the way, me and Shelby nicknamed it McShits. 
<laughs> that's what it is. That, that's I'll, actually... You still call it that? <laughs> oddly enough, that's a problem I have with my current boss is that she demands us to be at work, essentially, at all given times. And fucking... And this will, again, this will be short, but fucking Ish damn near shanked her. Ish is one of the calmest oh. people I know. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, from what you told me. Yeah. I, I, Ish... I told when us. Ish speaking is pure monotone, I don't give a fuckness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Just the, Billy in your machinimas, right? Yeah, he's yeah. that the uh, way I, he speaks as Billy. I honestly knew what you meant. Yeah. The way he that speaks as voice. Billy is exaggerated. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Let me emphasize that again. When he speaks as Billy, that is him exaggerating his voice. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so he lost his mom a little while ago. And he was gone from work for about uh, almost a month. Probably maybe even that long, because he was he he dealt with her in the hospital and he had to deal with the funeral, so it was a whole problem. And when he came back, uh, she tried to rib him for it, and he just kind of gave her this look like, hmm, <laughs> hmm. And she, I, let me put it, he didn't he didn't say or do anything, but the look he shot her must have put the fear of God in her. <laughs> <laughs> that, that takes some special kind of balls to be like, oh, well, you, where were you at when you're like, mm. like and, and th that's shit. another case. Like, I'm like, if something happens to one of my family members, she tries to do anything for that. She's getting a pair of scissors to the neck. I'm sorry, but <laughs> well, no, that's what's going to happen. I don't have like, that kind of tolerance. That's fucked up. Like, damn, I, I am not an impulsive person as much as I may make it sound. I'm I'm really not I'm, in video games. When I shoot Shelby sometimes. Yeah, that's. Yeah. Really fired, what we call that. <laughs> yeah, but the, or if somebody tells me to commit bad manners in my stream, then yes, yes, I'm impulsive I love, as fuck. I, I love like I was watching your stream and I saw somebody commit bad manners. I'm like, oh no, what's it gonna be? And then I just saw Target Josh and I was like, oh no, <laughs> oh, hell yeah, I was on Sea of Thieves. Yeah, I was like, yo, I, but, I was watching the stream. But yeah, th those are those are cases of impulse because at those moments I'm just like, what do I do? But and then in real life, I'm not a very impulsive person. I don't do things on a whim typically. If it comes to a family member or something like that, uh, I will uh, I will impulsively go to prison. <laughs> oh, no. so. Yeah, I, I can believe that one hundred percent. Sorry, I didn't mean to take over the story, but oh no, no, I, I didn't mean to take over mine either. I, I kind of like I cut Shelby off. I apologize, but I wanted to. Nah, do, like, I, I, like, that's pretty it. much that was the gist of what really oh, happened. That mine. Mm. You know, but all right. Uh, on that note, Zach, what's yours? <laughs> uh, my last story is a really quick one, honestly, but, but it's pretty funny. So um, I'm working the drive through one night. I'm the, I'm the dude who takes money this time instead of taking orders. So I just take the money and send them on their fucking way. Dude yeah. hand comes into the drive through hands me a 20 for a fucking like $9 order. Oh, so, oh no. So I give him I, I give him the change back. Uh, there, no, he gives me a 10. Sorry, not a 20. He tries to tell me he gave me a 20, though. Oh, okay. That's what it was. Yeah. So he gave me a 10 for like a 940 order or some shit like that. And I gave him a change bag. And he's like, uh, what about the 10? Then I'm like, huh? He's trying to say he I owe him this much money left. I looked down at the counter because guess what? I didn't put the money in the drawer. <laughs> nice uh, try, buddy. Yeah, I remember this story. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I didn't put the money in the drawer. And I'm like, I look at him and I'm like, buddy, I didn't even put your money in the drawer. This is a 10. And then he's trying to say he gave me a 20. I'm like, motherfucker, there is a camera right above me looking down at everything I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> what an idiot. What, like, what, you, what do you think, you think I stole your money? Are you stupid? <laughs> <laughs> Are you Apparently. your non-existent 10 that you had? So this dude is arguing with me for 20, 30 fucking minutes. And I, I, that's not an exaggeration. Uh, no, I didn't know it was that long. No, it, Ish oh, was yeah, there. Think, Ish yeah. was there this night, by the way. And, fucking and one of our other friends, uh, uh, he, his name was also Zach, hilariously enough. He looked out the window <laughs> to see what the fuck was going on, like maybe 10 minutes into the argument. And the dude looked at him and went, what are you looking at? And Zach about jumped out the fucking window and <laughs> he started to walk up and I stopped him. I'm like, no, 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 it's not worth it. It's not worth it. This piece of shit ain't not worth it. it. Bro, 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 calm down. It's not worth the felony. That's funny, considering that you were about to do the same thing. Well, I was, I it was just this moment where I'm just like, this dude is just being a scumbag because he's trying to scam us. It's not worth it. I realized what he was doing. Yeah. So, Damn. Like, and then the, the thing that finally set it off 
was we had to pull the drawer and count the money. And the manager was like, this is fucking stupid. So when we came back and counted the money and she told him that it was accurate, uh, he's like, this is fucking bullshit. And then Ish comes up and fake searches me. <laughs> Ish was like pretending to stick his hands in my pockets. He was like, he ain't got no fucking money. What do you want, bitch? <laughs> I'm, I'm just like, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Like, I'm, I'm like, that was the smartest thing anyone in here has done all fucking night. <laughs> and it got the dude, he was, he was mad as shit, and he went and got his food and fucking left, and then as he was leaving, I laid out the window and flipped him off and told him to go fuck himself. <laughs> he, did, he didn't I turn around it. and come back. I love it. That's great. I wouldn't even gave him his food at that fucking point. Fuck you. I mean, he paid for it, but it wasn't, let me tell you what, though. They uh, did not stand it up to the best of qualities. <laughs> He has no money, bitch. What do you want? Well, here's the thing: is the food that they made was forty fucking minutes old. Oof. Well, that well, no shit. I wouldn't be surprised if he was <laughs> arguing up to do that long. They, they made his food, but they didn't remake it. <laughs> have fun with your cold ass fries, bitch. <laughs> Again, <laughs> don't try to heat him up now, you cold ass fry looking bitch. <laughs> it was extra salt for those shitty fries. No, <laughs> oh, it was funny though. Like thinking about it at the time, it wasn't funny. I'm like, this piece of shit needs to get out of my fucking way. Jack, but... you deal with a lot of shit, man. Like a scammer. That's like, is it like two scammers? Because you literally have the other guy you told about. Like, like, damn, how many scammers you got where you are? Fucking Dot City's a shitty place. Oh my god. Holy <laughs> shit. But yeah, no, the Hell. Wendy's in Dot City particularly. I don't know what it is. It just attracts scumbags. <laughs> Scumbag magnet. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that one. Then, then, then now, obviously, I'm working in a completely different job entirely. Oh, I think we all are. And right. my issues with my current job are so generally more minuscule, and they don't even affect me on my day to day basis. So, yeah, like my oh, my boss is shitty. Cool. We made uh, it out of that life, boys. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> we got out. We ain't going back. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh... I can't recommend uh, working in fast food at all. No, uh, I, like, I, I do. Care if they give me a, a Bentley. I'm not. No. I, I do think it's important to work in some kind of like customer oriented environment to kind of understand what those people actually fucking deal with. Yeah. Or, yeah. or at the very least, ha have contact with someone who does so that they can share their horror stories with you, and so that you can understand that the things we pe people like us deal with in those environments. And then you, if you're gonna be the type of person to come in and you know be one of those people, rest assured we're gonna have stories about you. Just think <laughs> yeah. about it. Just yeah, you'll have a blender. To the, you'll have a blender to the face. Oh yeah, oh, that, yeah, that, that got, happened over there. Okay. Oh, yeah, that that actually happened at the one we worked at. Go ahead and tell yeah, the story real quick. Go ahead. Okay, so you want to? Uh, tell it? I'll I'll tell it. Like uh, neither of us were there at this point. This happened what maybe two, three years ago at max. Two years ago, yeah. Um. But basically, there was some sort of argument between this uh, customer and uh, I'm guessing either the drive through cashier or something like that. Um, yeah, maybe it was over right. fucking food or money. I don't remember what. It was one of the two. You, so, But um, it ended up with the uh, customer throwing like a ba her bag at the uh, person behind the counter. And guess what? She got a sad meal because the blender came flying at her fucking face. <laughs> I still love what you said. That was the first thing you said. You're like, she got a sad meal. <laughs> yeah, didn't, it, didn't it end up on the news or something? Yes. Yeah, you it Shelby did. read the news and I'm like, holy shit. Well, I was like, Shelby, what? Okay, so what McDonald's do you think this is at? And you're like, God, Josh, if it's the one we worked at. And I looked at it and I'm like, Corey McDonald's, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, yep. That place hasn't changed. Uh, okay. that, that's the one. Story. I tagged him in the news. Like, made the news twice. Changed. One for the blender and one for something else. Oh, Bugs, no. I think. <laughs> yes. Because that place was dirty. Yes. It, like, it was dirty when I worked there, but it only got worse. Uh, oh, it definitely got worse. <laughs> it's like, yeah, they got new fancy electronics up in the front to make the plates appear <laughs> nice, but guarantee you step behind that counter, man. Take one look at the ground. It's fucking Sludge City. <laughs> All right. Uh -huh. So, um. Basically, what we're saying is if you're in Cincinnati and you're near anywhere near Ronald Reagan, McDonald's, don't go there. Stay away. <laughs> Stay far away. Um, well, on that note, uh, <laughs> so, transition. yeah, there, there's a good uh, good uh, place to transition, I'd say. But, yeah, you, you know a little bit about our work, about our work history. 
which you, I would say in terms of content creation is irrelevant to some extent. But the stories themselves are it, it should help help you understand what type of people we are. And yeah. uh, <laughs> so I guess from that point, uh, <laughs> yeah. something else we wanted to talk about besides obviously work because and this is probably the only time we'll ever talk about work because it's something I personally don't take to. Yeah, it's not something fun to talk about a lot of time. Obviously, the stories can be fun to talk about, but beyond that, uh, nah. But we were also going to talk about games that desperately need comebacks, and I'm, I'm interested in this one because I've got a few ideas of my own. Well, um, often. All right, well, one of the first ones I was actually thinking about was, first of all, so Sonic games are not that good, typically, these days. Yeah. <laughs> I really... I really, really think that Sonic games, at least in the adventure style, back from Adventure 1 and Adventure 2 battle, they really need to recapture what made those games special. I agree. And because they're not doing it, I'm just like, well, okay. But then you, the thing I like about Sonic games is that they let their fans make stuff. They actually let the fans do stuff, which is really cool, which is why Sonic Mania exists, for example. There's a, it was a fan-made game, which is really cool. So, I was actually looking on YouTube and I found something. I don't remember. I don't even remember what it was called, but it was also a fan-made game. But it is going to, is trying to capture that adventure style. And you know how you know how fan-made games sometimes you look at them, we're like, it's like, oh, there's too much bloom. It's just an open world with nothing to do type of shit. Usually made an Unreal Engine, and it's just like nothing special. Yeah. But. I'm like, I found this one, and I'm like, it actually looks like it could be kind of cool, but you can tell the you can t- you can see the fan made aspects within it, which that's not bad necessarily, but you can tell. And I'm just like, I don't understand why Sega doesn't just actually l- take a step back and realize that the reason their games are failing is because they're not doing what people want them to do. Yeah. So. For me, that's one of the big ones that I think. I think they need to remake Sonic. Not really, not remake it, but they need to do another game in the adventure style format where you get yeah. upgrades and stuff throughout the game and then give it replayability by actually doing stuff with stages like variants and, and what, the, fu- the fucking child garden and stuff like that. What, opinion. you, what, you didn't enjoy uh, Sonic Kids like a Princess? Oh. <laughs> Sonic goes to <laughs> no, no. Oh, so yeah, that was supposed to be an adventure style game. Oh, but, yeah, you can tell the DNA is in there. They're yeah, trying you, to you be- can tell they were trying to because you play as other characters and stuff like that throughout the story. But it's like, eh, the, the, the it was rushed. It was so rushed. It was. Uh, um. <laughs> that and, really amazing, that was agree. that was the point in which I'd say. If you were a fan of Sonic, that's probably where a lot of people stopped being a fan of Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> I loved Angry Video Games nerd on that. He's like, "What bad Sonic games?" Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, oh. They've had a few <laughs> decent it? games since then. Like, uh, uh, was it Generations? Yeah, that was really good. I enjoyed that. Yeah, they've had some good games, but they've only been doing like their basic level styled games. They. they- yeah, they kind of go back on like nostalgia when they want to make a good game. It's like because Ma- like Mania is great, but don't get me wrong, it's literally just uh, it's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's literally levels. nostalgia. It's literally just nostalgia boner. That's all it is, like nostalgia bait. But like, mm-hmm. I mean, I get it. But like, I agree. Sonic Adventure Three would be amazing. Mm-hmm. No, what do you call it three. Call it right. Sonic. Yeah, it right. doesn't even necessarily have to be Sonic Adventure Three. It's just <laughs> watch out, you're gonna crash. Yeah, watch ah. out, ah! <laughs> they gotta keep the voice acting bad. Like you gotta like that's oh, the thing. Absolutely. Like, you, funny, like uh, campy voice I, acting. I don't know amazing. if you guys remember this, but uh, it was actually used at one point when uh, um, the senators and House were trying to pass like a bad. I think it was like HIPAA or something like that. Okay. Uh, and uh, like I remember somebody posting a video from one of the Sonic uh, games, and then Sonic's just looking at the camera, going, "No copyright, Rob will stop me." Uh, <laughs> oh my god! I know oh, I butchered it. Sake. Yeah, he said, "No copyright, Law will stop me." <laughs> I'm too cool. <laughs> oh You're no! You're too slow. <laughs> You're too slow. <laughs> that was fucking great. I have to find that at some point. Good you, God. You, do, you should probably. <laughs> yeah, that'd be funny. <laughs> Copyright won't stop me. What the fuck? <laughs> you know what is kind of yeah. the. Uh, uh, in terms of the Sonic games, one of the damnedest things I've always found to be really weird 
is that for specifically for the 3D games, is that the things that honestly made them worse was the faster Sonic goes. Yeah, they couldn't control it real good. Yeah, <laughs> everyone would always fucking wig out on it. Mm-hmm. Like in Sonic Adventure One and Two, he was he was just still he was fast, but he wasn't like so goddamn fast you couldn't control what the fuck he was doing. Now, those games, those games obviously have a whole different kind of jank to them in some level, but we have the technology oh, to avoid that kind of jank now. <laughs> Back then, maybe they didn't. The levels. Yeah. Well, I think back then, think about it, you didn't get patches and stuff. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So it was broken. It was broken. You know. <laughs> Which generally is also why games were more careful about shipping in the states they shipped back then. But that's yeah, it's double-edged sword. You know. Mm-hmm. So, but it's also sure. like, yeah, the jank in those games could easily be fixed nowadays if they would just actually take the risk and try to make another adventure-styled game. Be that's just really that's really what I want. It's just in, in some ways those games were patched, but they were re-released in the platinum. Yeah, edition. yeah, it like that. It was more yeah. like re-release on GameCube and stuff. Yeah, like that's what the kind of way they would do it. But mm-hmm. you would and have then, to rebuy the game though if you wanted to fix. And then the transition yeah. from Dreamcast to GameCube and all that because yeah. If you, if you guys think about it, that that trend lasted a long time. Like remasters, like oh, we're gonna charge you sixty dollars for the same game you just played. So let's just be happy. Backwards compatibility has come back. Like, yeah, Kingdom Hearts did the same fucking thing with their final mixes, but oh, the final God, mixes were Japan only for the longest yeah. time. So did they, did they was that really released in Japan it's that early? Yeah, I yep. never knew that. I thought that was, I thought it came to PS3 and that was the first time. But Mm-mm. the the, only... the PS2 okay. there was final mixes for the PS2 version, but it was Japanese only. Interesting. And then the PS3 version came out, and then the PS4 version came out, yeah. which, you know, yeah, yeah. What about what about you though, Josh? What about you though, Josh? What kind of what okay, games are you so... thinking of? <laughs> well, let me just yeah. tell you about a little series called Splinter Cell. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting real frustrated with the Ubisoft because <laughs> Sam Fisher deserves better. All right, he's one of the OG. I mean, granted, like he's. I, I just love the fact that like. He's he's a self is a self game. Obviously, self games have gone the way of the dodo, unfortunately. I mean, Rip Snake, mm. but he they literally referenced each other. Like it, when you have Kojima acknowledging that Sam exists, you know that like they're kind of like they reference each other back and forth. But like Ubisoft, you are literally going to put him in every game besides his own proper Splinter Cell game. He's in Rainbow Six Siege. Doesn't look anything like Sam Fisher. Fuck you. Why'd you do that? Um, you 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 want okay. So what baffles me is they wonder why. The last game, supposedly it's because the last game didn't sell very well. Blacklist was very good mechanically, but the story was stupid. You changed how Sam looks, and you didn't change the timeline, so don't give me that bullshit, because what I remember, he still has a daughter and everything, and he looks like he's younger than her. You did, you did my boy Michael Ironside dirty. I, I understand, he, I mean, granted, he was, to be fair, he was struggling with something right at the time. I think it was like cancer or something like that, but mm. it's still kind of shitty. Like, I, you didn't even offer, like, I, don't, I, mean, I don't know, I, I, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, I mean, they obviously brought him back for like the, the Ghost Recon thing. And, but basically what I'm saying is give Sam one last ride of his own game. Yeah, now, for obviously, sure. Now, like, obviously, the one thing I'm worried about is because Ubisoft can't shove monetization down our throats. They can't make the Ubisoft boring-ass open world game and turn Splinter Cell into that. Look at all the IPs they've turned into that. Division. Uh, Ghost Recon. Yeah, all of them have become boring ass, lifeless open worlds. Don't get me wrong. I like Assassin's Creed. I play. I, I loved Origins. Origins was a wonderful little twi- switch, uh, switch up. But like, you can't tell me the Odyssey is is not. I mean, I like. Don't get me. I, I I say this as a fan. Like, I like Ubisoft games, but like, quit trying to make the same game over and over again because you can reuse assets. Yeah, it's Far Cry is like into boring. You know, like Far Cry is very in, not very unique anymore. It's oh, like, I have some things to say about that as well, like, but we'll get that, there. That is why. That is why I think like. I, I, as much as I want him to come back, I kind of don't, mm-hmm. because I know it'll be just the same. It'll be they'll try to make it an open world, or and an open world stealth game would be cool. I think I, I saw gameplay of uh, I haven't played Metal Gear Solid: Phantom Pain, but is that open world? Yeah, yeah. it's open it's world. open like, world. It's open world with closed off mission segments. Basically, what I'm saying is, give my boy Sam one last ride. I mean, he's obviously Michael Ironside is getting up there in age. He's old anyway. Sam is old in the game. He was old to start out, which is an odd choice, but I like it. Mm-hmm. And then like. You made him young a couple times, and that worked out. I liked Conviction. Conviction was fine. But, like, I don't know, man. Blacklist was okay. Mechanically, it was great. Like, just do that again, but give me back Ironside. Like, why? Come on, guys. Why? And then, like, a Splinter Cell TV series or something. I'm like, okay, so you're licensing out the IP, but you won't even give him a game anymore. You put him in mobile games, which really sucks. They they put him in a mobile game. They quote-unquote put him in Siege, which... (laughs) Yeah, that's not Sam. That is no way that's Sam. He doesn't yeah. look anything like him. I know. I mean, I it'd be hard to translate that into like 
a siege probably, but like I don't know. I just feel like he's been hoard out the other games and won't you won't give him his own game. And at the same time, I've kind of conflicted because at the same time, it would be a boring ass open world cookie cutter game that Ubisoft loves to make now. So yeah, which is unfortunate. That's my, that's, that's my little rant about Sam Fisher. <laughs> you guys get every <laughs> yeah. I know you guys know I'm passionate about that, but like you know when like when he acknowledged Snake. Like they, it's just like another Konami thing. Like Konami has so little for well, so little for respect for Snake that Ubisoft acknowledged him more than they did. You know, his, his yeah. send off, right? It's pretty fucked up. Like your competitors, like so it's only it's me. only me. That's that's, that's <laughs> no, that scene is kind of sad. It's like there was this other guy though, like Army Infiltration. I think he wore a bandana or something. And he's like he retired, and he's like it's only me. And then you look at the look on his face. Is like the fans. Yeah, exactly. It, 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 like, the it look says crazy. a lot more than his words ever could. Like they, the, they, you know, they, they knew what they were doing. They had to know. I mean, like it's only me, and like the dead, like the thousand yard stare. Like, oh my god, I, that's my rant about you, Splinter. Though I, I, I just, I'm conflicted on it. Like at the same time, well, I I'm like, he's like, it's only me, and I'm like, but you won't make him a game, so no, it's not only him. He's not even in. Yeah, it. Yeah, you literally just he resorted to cameo, so Sam's not even. It's not even only Sam. Like stealth games are, you know, gone. It's yeah, like, stealth games are pretty much gone. That, that, I'm like, like, Grant, I can't I, you, think of any. Grant, you guys, you guys be shit for hating stealth, but I come around on stealth games a lot. But like. You would, it's so weird awesome. to say it's weird to say stealth games are gone, but yet we're still getting like a thousand fucking zombie games. Oh my god! Hey, 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 Shelby, want to play a zombie game? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> but yeah, that's my little rant about Splinter Cell. I'm sure you guys enjoyed my little passion anger there. But oh yeah. So, uh, Shelby, what's yours? You uh, I, I gave some thought while you guys were talking and stuff, and uh, I think I come up with one I would like to see come back, and that would be Jack and Daxter. Oh, that, yeah, that would that would work. I think people would beat up. Yes, yeah, it's, it's <laughs> like it's basically Uncharted before Uncharted. Yeah. Let you think Naughty Dog would work on it, or would you get the team that made uh, uh, Ratchet and Clank? If you were uh, well, Sony. the way Naughty Dog is now, uh, maybe the team of Ratchet and Clank. I feel like they could probably do a good Naughty job. Naughty not doing anything now, are they? Like besides not really. Two, it's like they, they had only thing they ha- that I can think of in recent memory is the Uncharted games and Last of Us. Yeah. Chapter four was great. I didn't play. Um, what was it? Gold, I, not Gold I Abyss, can't uh, think of anything. Uh, well, m- well, Crash. I guess they did Crash, right? Well, yeah, no, that was. Yeah, well, they, well, they made the original originally. Crash. Yeah, yes. it's actually yeah, yeah, okay, now, yeah. But, that came back as a remaster, which, but which, by the way, like, yeah. um, <laughs> yeah, um, but I think out of my favorite, the uh, Jack Two was probably my uh, the most favorite in my opinion. The first one was like, okay, he's a kid, so this is a little cute game, and then all of a sudden he just like kind of pull the rug under uh, underneath you in the second game he's like i'm pissed off and i'm like oh, <laughs> it's like he, edgy a teenager version. Word. <laughs> he said a no no word <laughs> i'm <laughs> pissed <laughs> off <laughs> <laughs> have you guys seen that pro cd video it's like that's a no no word yeah. It's like, that threw me off. It's like, we went from that. And then all of a sudden it's like, whoa, what in the world happened? And uh, he's just so cool going through freaking levels, just killing everything in your path, getting these guns and stuff. And I'm like, I'm sorry, he Shelby, doesn't... I don't mean to interrupt. I just thought of something really funny. It's like, Jack says, fuck Daxter. <laughs> well, uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, like, uh, I don't play the game. I just thought that was really funny. Like, yeah, and then, the third one, no, the third one was all right. Like, I think it had like a decent conclusion in that. Then yeah. they had like this raisin game, which I've sort of played. And then they had like one other one. I think it was like hmm. I can't think of the name of it, but I remember the cover. It had like Jack and Daxter kind of staring off um, at you, and it had like this flying machine or something like that. I heard it was really bad though. Uh I I don't think it was called Jack Four, um. But then Daxter got its own game, which I did play a little bit. It's like I don't know if I like this. Not because I'm not Jack, <laughs> but like from what I play, I was going around fucking smacking flies. I'm like, oh, well, this is uh, this is fun, I guess. <laughs> this is exhilarating. <laughs> this is okay. <laughs> Wonderful gameplay. Yeah, have and here. like I heard uh, people kind of talk of um off and on saying like the guy that uh voiced uh jack was actually spotted at like the the studio or something in like uh uh, what's that gear cup mocap gear uh Uh, doing some stuff but i don't know if that was true and that was probably about a few years ago i I can't remember how far back but it was really fun like had a good story uh and and like dark and gritty and uh 
Jack became horny. <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, like imagine it's literally the Titans like fuck fuck Dexter. <laughs> I feel like I had a more exhilarating time fighting these fucking moths one time. Like Jesus, Christ, <laughs> I had a flash water. So Kansas uh, is notorious for like having a lot of moths, especially in summer. And so like if you leave your light on, your porch is going to be filled with them. Oh, <laughs> and so I went home one night. And lo and behold, the light was on. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so, so my thought process here is get inside and close the door as fast as possible. <laughs> and, and this works, except there's a, still about 80 to 90 moss floating around flying, trying to trying to get inside the light because holy <laughs> shit, holy shit, give me the light, give me the light, give me the light. So I go grab two fly swatters. I'm dual wielding these motherfuckers. <laughs> and I'm just over here going, whoosh, 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 whoosh. <laughs> it, motherfucker, it is 1.30 in the morning, and I'm at the front door trying to fight an <laughs> army of moths. <laughs> You're like, I'm down to my last mag. <laughs> I can see, I my see you dad comes end. out. My fucking dad comes out. And sees, <laughs> my fucking dad comes out and sees me doing this. <laughs> so, I wish there was video. I wish there was video. I was, I, was, I, was, I was like 16 or 17 at the time. My dad comes out, sees me doing this. He's like, he didn't even ask what I was doing. He just went back to bed. <laughs> you know what? Um, <laughs> last back. I can just see you throwing the fly straw, the fly swatters at the very end. Just run back inside. It's because he came Arthur, out. Like, oh, he came out. I was like, what <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? I'm trying to think what theme would be playing as you're fighting him. <laughs> Rules of nature. <laughs> No fucking Kingdom Hearts music of some sort. Oh god! Fucking awesome. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> you're probably a big Kingdom Hearts fan even then, right? That's yeah. Like the Kingdom Hearts theme play. Yeah, I was like, dude, I was, um, I'm like this shit. I don't know why. That's just what it reminded me of. That's fucking great. <laughs> but like for the Jack games, uh, I would like it like if a remaster was done, like not a port mm -hmm. per se, but an actual remaster, like a remake. Yeah, or re yeah, remake, no, remaster, remaster, yeah. Technically, but it's really just a port, let's be honest. Yeah. Um, or even a sequel, but if you're going to do that, like, let another studio do it, because... Essentially, what you I... want is for it to get the Demon Souls treatment. Yes. Yeah, that'd be cool. Give that every game freaking amazing. Treatment. <laughs> That's amazing. Like, Dude, still I, 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 I fucking... Demon. Imagine Metal Gear Solid 1 getting the Demon Souls treatment. Oh, that'd be super cool. That would be so, awesome. Oh, it did! On a Plank on the IP. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, wasn't Sony gonna, like, buy the idea? <laughs> and, 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 and then Sony was like, no, or not, not Sony, yeah. Konami was like, stop that. <laughs> Hello, Hello, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, speaking of, I'd, I'd say that's a good transition into the next uh, topic. <laughs> yeah, what we got next? <laughs> the next was uh, our best and most memorable moments. Uh... <laughs> Hello, everybody. Oh, yeah, that, that was one. There's a lot. Oh, yeah, there's a lot. So who uh, wants to go first on this? Uh, uh, I, I got to think one, so I want you, one of you two to go first. To see what I'll, I'll go mean. first, <laughs> just because the one I have is really fucking short. Uh, one of my favorite okay. moments that we've ever done was the Australia joke in Clucky's 2. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Rocky, let me hit Australia, cut. <laughs> cut. Uh, I'm up on top of this roof shooting this machine gun. I had the way we filmed that was I just grabbed my mouse and started throwing it around my desk so my dude spun as much as possible. And fucking Shelby and uh, Ish's characters are down behind cover, and Shelby's like, he's gonna shoot someone in Australia shooting like that. And then it cuts to Australia, and you can tell it's me doing the voice here, too. <laughs> and I'm like, oi. I'm just like, oi, it's a lovely day here in Australia, you cunt. And then a bullet just hits the dude, and he goes, crikey! Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I can actually pick it up, because this was the Cluckies 2 also. Okay. In fact, like, you, um, some people on my channel might have already seen the bloopers and stuff. I don't remember which bloopers oh, yeah. it was, I know but you're uh, going with it was essentially it was toward the end of Clucky's two, and uh, he was trying to get on the roof, and it was me and our friend Martin who um, does the body acting for Billy, and then obviously my own character and I do the voice of. Mm -hmm. But we're waiting up there to uh, film a particular thing. He's struggling to get up on that roof for whatever reason. <laughs> I, don't think I, was, then, I think I was mad. 
And, <laughs> well, I, do, I think you're even more mad what, after what happened. So, oh, yeah. Like, I was mad, so it was affecting my ability to do things. I was like, I'm fucking mad. <laughs> I'm fucking mad. Can't see my uh, forehead. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but like, uh, he gets in a helicopter. He's flying up there. He jumps out the helicopter. Oh, yeah. And he jumped out of it. Out of it at the worst <laughs> possible time because the thing fucking plotted a fucking dead on course with them. Like, target acquired. Senpai, you're not leaving me. And me and Martin are, are just looking up and we both go, Ooh! And it oh. fucking smashes into him and explodes. You just see his body just falling down the earth. Oh, like, <laughs> oh no. Oh, I love and, it. Holy shit. And then so you just hear Zach going, Oh, oh, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Mark, can you call up another chopper, please? <laughs> oh, I think I have one, guys. If you guys don't mind, Go I, ahead. tell me this is more of a you moment, but like, we all played Dead Island. We're all like, it, oh, we yes. played like, what, like three in the morning, or whatever. Dude, we no, played it was not three. No, it wasn't it, three it in the was, morning. It was, it was early in the morning. We played like at least midnight. Maybe like, in the early. Around. We we got so much content of that with you guys, but like, okay, so we're all driving around in the car, right? Just playing around, goofing around, and <laughs> Rob is driving. You know, our, our friend Rob. I'm sure you guys, you know, and uh, <laughs> she's like, oh, we're just driving around, and then like, I, I tell me, were you out of the car at one point? Like he was running something over. He like ran into a rock. He's like, watch out, there's a cliff up ahead. And oh, so yeah. We've been playing music all night, like as like, little memes and stuff, and references. We show me we we as soon as we're going over the cliff, you hear mariachi music like Shelby had started it up. You can hear it in the clip. Shelby had started it up, but you it was a perfect moment right as we went over the cliff. I was in the car too, by the way. I wasn't out of it. I was in the car. I thought I thought I know you were running around earlier earlier in that session, but I was like I was running around with dudes. <laughs> 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 perfect yeah, the mariachi music was just timed so perfectly. That is top tier, like just the perfect timing on that, like just at, dead Zach's on. Like, it's like, like, <laughs> Zach was like, "He looked into the future and timed that shit." <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> <laughs> that that one killed me. I laughed at that for like harder well, than I had. I think in a we while. all did. We like that was uh, that was a good clip. Like that was top tier like, I'll, I'll, I, I will say i think the those four dead island videos we did were all really like entertaining we had the, I edited battle, the, I did. <laughs> the uh, fucking yeah. shelby's death shelby 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 solid type death <laughs> oh my god oh fucking christ <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh boy i know i know you got moment. i know you got another one zach <laughs> uh, and I have a feeling what it's probably gonna be, but I'll wait and see. <laughs> uh, I don't remember if I had said it already or not, so jog my memory. Dead space. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. All right. So this is absolutely one of my favorite moments of me and Shelby. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and I've told him that I will probably be. Like Alzheimer's induced in my deathbed, and I will still remember this <laughs> because I, I I will go to my grave remembering this because this is the funniest thing he's ever done. <laughs> Albeit the stupidest, but still the funniest. <laughs> he has yet to top this. So we're playing Dead Space Three co-op, and we're in the little fast travel system. So when you're in the fast travel system, somebody sits in the front seat, somebody sits in the back seat. Person in the back seat can see the person sitting in the front seat a little bit, but not much. So, he's sitting in the back seat, I'm sitting in the front seat, and there was a piece of my character's armor that kind of protruded out a little bit, and for some ungodly fucking reason, Shelby thought this was like a dismembered Necromorph Claw just hanging out in the fucking fast travel pod, and he's freaking out about it, because I, I guess because he thinks he's hallucinating or something like his character is, so he takes a picture of it with his phone. Sent it to me, and I, so here's the other kicker: is as soon as I stepped out of the uh, thing, Shelby went. Shelby went. Whoa! Whoa! It just disappeared. <laughs> I love, I, can I just say I love like your reaction, like Shelby. That's my armor. Yeah, I'm looking at the picture, trying to figure out where it was. I told him to take it again and draw a circle around it. He drew a circle around the whole fucking picture, almost. <laughs> And I'm like, Shelby, Shelby, draw a smaller circle, my guy. 
And, <laughs> <laughs> coming full picture in crayon, like, here you go. Yeah, and then he goes, and then once I realized what it is, I finally realized what it was he was looking at. And it was like a shoulder piece on my character. And it just kind of curved outward a little bit. And I'm like, Shelby, that's my armor. And then he looks at it again. He's like, uh, no, it's a, uh, what? Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> He's like having like, oh no. I have no idea what the fuck was going on with me that day. I must have been slightly tired. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just not going to let him get away with any excuses for that one. That was the funniest thing I've ever seen him do in my life. We, we, were, we went to the little crafting station afterwards and I was trying to upgrade my gun, but I couldn't because I was sure. laughing so oh, no, fucking no, like, hard. <laughs> I, could, I couldn't even play the game properly. I'm over here going, yeah. And then here I am, so fucking red in the face. It's like I need to end the recording right now and just rethink my life. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then on top of that, the to finish off the story, I got him back later again. And uh, <laughs> we were continuing on through the level. Uh, we went down a ladder. I looked at the floor. Went, hey, whoa, 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 what the fuck is that? And then Shelby comes over here. He's like, I don't fucking see anything. I'm like, there's a necromorph claw right there. And then he, like, fuck you. <laughs> he, he just stops and then he goes and kills himself. So. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just go into an area where some spikes were coming in and out. It just impaled me. Oh yeah, that was that was easily one of the best things that hadn't happened. And I I will uh, if I remember to, I will leave a link to that in the description of this video so you can see that gloriousness for yourself. God damn it! There's no escaping a trophy. Nope, there will be no escaping that. There's no escape. I'll leave a link to the first video and timestamp it, and then I'll try to leave a link to the second one where I got him back as well. <laughs> I still like um, abortion gun too. That was my favorite one. <laughs> um, go ahead, Shelby. <laughs> um, I I got one. I like. Um, I was thinking that like um, because there's like a. Well, I'm thinking of multiple games. Like through my head, like okay, what happened here? What happened there? And uh, I think the one that I can think of immediately is uh, Zach's horrible experience in Uno with this fucking rogue AI that's had it <laughs> out for him. <laughs> like, I actually still have the clip. Yeah, it actually on plays on my. Five. It, 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 was like, it the one that plays on my highlights as well? Yes, yeah, it's, it's like this fucking game. It's like we're <laughs> playing and stuff, and like uh, it's going kind of normal and stuff. Zach was already getting kind of. Who does that to people though? And then like, um, all of a sudden, this AI just says, "Fuck everybody else! I'm coming from this guy." Mm -hmm. Because reasons, he like hits him, a, he hits him with a draw two. Uh, Zach would try to freaking throw the draw two on me. I'd have a draw two. It would uh, at one point freaking uh, Rob would uh, get the thanks, but then it draws uh, a draw four. Zach draws four, and then like it's just a <laughs> continuous circle like of him getting draw twos and draws fours on him. He's getting <laughs> mad. <laughs> but like this fucking game. I was like, fuck that stupid fucking game. Oh, it, it, this wasn't the same game. But um, I did something like uh, like deliberately prevented him from playing. It had nothing to do with drawing cards. Well, and to an extent, it didn't. Mm -hmm. Um, he was more likely forced to draw them because I like he the color that he did not oh, was not yeah. getting green. on him for the life of him was fucking green. green. And he's like, "Shall we stop? <laughs> stop!" And then one point, you just hear him play out so desperately. Stop it! <laughs> he kept changing it to green, man. <laughs> I, I, I remember the one we did where I had fucking I kept like whooping your guys' ass and I kept making the Titus laugh pop up in the background. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that's great. Oh, I got one with Josh. Okay. Oh no, I think I know which one it is. <laughs> okay, so Josh, <laughs> this guy. I don't know how the fuck he does it. Oh, I know what you're okay. yeah, I know what it is. I know this. But he has a habit of somehow driving any type of vehicle in Halo off the fucking map. It could be a stationary vehicle, and that thing will just fucking pull into the stratosphere and go off the map. And, <laughs> <laughs> but we weren't playing uh, like one of the reads or three games. or anything like that. We were playing Halo Wars. Okay. <laughs> He was controlling some warthogs, right? Oh, okay, there's a bridge and stuff. Yeah. There's a bridge and stuff. All these guys are going over and stuff. It's not one of those bridges that'll fade out and then fade back in. <laughs> like, okay. No, one of his warthogs decides to go to the left. Go up the ramp. <laughs> hit the side of the wall. 
off and then just plummet to their death. I wore hogs and fuck work. <laughs> <laughs> fuck I'm work. Like, I'm done. I'm like, how, how do you do that? No, Shelby, that was, Shelby, was that the clip that inspired you to get Master Chief to, uh, to tell me I can't drive? <laughs> He no. got me a cameo from being like, hey, Josh, keep your eye on the road. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't that clip. It was just in general. I, I, by the way, I was so happy when he gave me that. I was like, Master Chief told me I can't drive. Do we need to go back to basic? I can make that happen. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, Josh, you know, Josh, uh, uh, since I went go-karting recently, uh, I'm interested to see how you would handle a real-life go-kart. Oh, I, I, oh I, no! I, you <laughs> bro, you should have seen me on the riding, the riding floor machine at my work the other day. I was all scared, like, oh, no, oh, no. I'm gonna oh, fall off the map. I'm gonna fall off the map. Wait, you're, you're... I'm gonna fall off the map at work. <laughs> I just fall through the floor. <laughs> like the floor just... <laughs> no, the floor collapses and I end up in the basement. Like, hey Billy, hey Tom. <laughs> <laughs> so what you actually, you actually I have a right on one? Right, yeah, I used the writing floor machine. I, I wish it oh, wasn't bad. I wish I, I had that. I was actually wasn't nervous about it or anything. It was kind of cool. So, <laughs> but yeah, man, those fucking fangs are fast as hell it's like man oh, that was the lowest setting and i was like i felt like i was speeding i'm like oh no slow down <laughs> you got fucking grandma beside okay. you like, move out of the way i literally sent a gif of my to my boss that was helping me i sent him the austin powers thing where he's like nurt, nurt, nurt. No, you know you know what i'm talking about where he's like stuck between the two walls oh, oh yeah, yeah. The fucking the little... was literally almost me at one point he's like you're gonna have to austin powers just to get it out of there i'm like okay so he showed me how to maneuver to get it out of the wall Jesus fucking cry. I no, no, like it was like I had to back up, and he was like, "Don't, don't Austin Powers it, okay?" <laughs> that, that fucking you, you mentioned that cameo. That reminds me, I got one more good moment. This one was actually directed towards Rob. Uh, I got a cameo for Rob from David Hayter. Uh, for those of you who don't know, he's the voice of Solid Snake and Big Boss for the Metal Gear series. So I got him a cameo, and I, I won't quote the whole thing, but essentially what it, <laughs> what I got him to say. Was I got David Hitter to tell Rob to pull his parachutes in Warzone earlier to compensate for being a fat guy? <laughs> <laughs> you, if we if when we're talking about these cameras, we should probably uh, I don't I mean it takes a lot of editing, but I can send you the uh, Master Chief one, Shelby, or just you guys both. So you guys have because like I said that to you because like I <laughs> you need to see the David Hater one. I don't even want to talk about. It. I want people to see the David Hater one. Like, yeah, I I, 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 could, I could actually yeah. upload that and post a link in the description of it. Yeah, I, was say, like, I can send the mass cheap one to you guys, and then uh, I, I just really want like people to see the conduct that like keep your eyes on the road, Josh. It's like I have it. I can just do that. I have to save my computer. And yeah. also, I also sent one for Shelby for Cam Commander Shepard. I called him my favorite Shelby on the Citadel. <laughs> oh, I um I sent uh, Zach one from uh. What what was his name? He did. Uh, I can't think of his saying uh, right now. The guy that voiced Ed from Ed, Ed and Eddie. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, I, it was, I, it was Matt Matt Hill. Was it yeah, Matt Hill? Yeah, Hill. yeah, yeah. I, I think it was Matt Hill. Hill. Shelby one as yeah, well. Yeah, but it's like uh, essentially he was like, oh, uh, hello, uh, Zach. It's your <laughs> friend, Single D. Hi, and uh, <laughs> he's like, uh, Rob says you're your best friend and happy to have all these adventures together, and also. You bet your sweet pimpy he did. <laughs> and, and he, then he was like, he said, you know what that means. <laughs> yeah, he also did that for me when I got him. The, I, I sent Shelby the meme of the 25 cents is all it takes, Robert. And he's like, he said, you know what that meant. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. That's what it was. <laughs> yeah, I think he did it for you, too. For for yours, too, I want no, to he say. Didn't, he, he didn't say that. He said, you know what that meant. I was like, God damn it, he wasn't supposed to read that. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny, though. Like, 25 cents is all it takes, Robert. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> We got off a little cameo tangent, but those are a, fun. a little bit, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, for that David Hater one, I'll try to remember to upload that and post a link in the description of this. Well, video. That, that just needs to be seen. Like, we, I don't even want to talk about. It. I want people to see. Like, that's just yeah, because so that, that was a good one. That was I was really happy with that one. I got called fat by Solid Snake. <laughs> he was so happy <laughs> about ball, that. Whatever, whatever, I don't know. It's like a, just... I, I I genuinely think because of that, Rob can now die happy. I know, like, I, honestly, you say that, but, like, we were in the midst of COVID last year. Uh, Shelby sending me that, like, really made my mm -hmm. whole year. Yeah, it was kind of the same thing with Rob's, like, Rob's, you know, Rob wasn't really, like, depressed or anything like that, but I sent him that on top of, like, all, all the shit that's been happening last year, and then it's just, he was like, he literally was like, I can now die happy, and I don't think he was exaggerating or lying. I think he actually would be, like, on his deathbed and be like, <laughs> David Hayter called me fat. <laughs> that would be, be, be great. That's all I was like. Master Chief told me I can't drive. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, fucking hell. We all, we all people. We would, if we met, we would probably be like super ecstatic like that. I'm sure there's something like for you, Zach. Like maybe it's you'd really want uh, to like meet in person. 
Yeah, but I can't think of who right off the top of my head. There's got to be somebody. Maybe Kingdom Hearts or somebody from there. Like, Maybe. There's, there's, a, there's a lot of cool voice actors. Really I, cool I, voice actually, actors. I would. I do want to. I would like to meet Haley Joel Osment, but not just for Kingdom Hearts stuff. I want to talk oh, about. I always wanted to ask him what it was like to film that scene with Carl Urban and the boys when he oh, gets God. his head smashed against the fucking that, sink. What did say? That was a cameo I didn't expect. I'm like, oh, right? Oh, oh, oh wow. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> I was. I just want to ask him. Be like, you gotta tell me that was fun, right? <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the clip of the like the show Future Man? I think it was with Josh Hutchinson, where he like yelling at him about the janitor, and he goes into the Korra voice a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah, I've seen like, that. My job is very important, and they like you can hear the Sora. <laughs> you can hear like, Sora yeah. come out a little bit, yeah. Sora yelling at him about <laughs> swabbing the urethra. <laughs> yep. Swabbing oh. the urethra. <laughs> <laughs> I'll yeah, I remember clip. that. You need to see that. It's funny. Oh, see, I have seen that. We'll need to send that one to Shelby later on. I, mean, but... I, think, I think the clip was like accidental sore voice or something like that. I think so, yeah. And the thumbnail is like Taylor Joel Osment with sore his hair. <laughs> yeah. I Like I said, I really liked him in the voice. That was hilariously awesome to see. Like, mm-hmm. holy shit. <laughs> Little fucking weasel got what he deserved. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shelby hasn't seen it yet. I don't think. Have you, Shelby? No, I have not. We won't go too much into it, but that, you need to check that out, Shelby. Mm. But uh, so anyway, I'd say that's a good point to transition into our final topic since we've been going at this a while now. Yeah. Uh, which was good. mostly just current gaming, like events, thoughts, et cetera, et cetera. And okay. uh, immediately, um, the first thing I wanted to talk about was: Have you guys looked at any of the Far Cry Six stuff that got uh, shown recently? Hey, stop it! Actually, no. it, it look, I it haven't looked at good anything. Or- it is bad or good or it doesn't look very good. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no! It does, like let me re- let me put it this way: it doesn't look any better or worse than Far Cry Five does. But like graphically speaking, it looks kind of like a looks kind of like a looks kind of like a late PS3 game. Oh God, are we dealing with a cyberpunk issue situation? Here? I don't I don't think so because it looks like it, like it, it could actually run, but at the cost of like the textures looking like hot garbage. Ubisoft games are ridiculous because have you seen like the requirements on PC for Valhalla? There is no way in hell you should need like a 3090 or 3080. Jesus like fuck. the most recommended specs is a 3080. It's like what? For what? <laughs> like, are you kidding me? I don't know. Well, you... guess what? Nobody can get a 3080. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's, it's, it's like it was like the high end stuff. Like obviously, like the, you, I can run it. So I have like a 1060. So Dude, fuck it. It. Even the like, fucking like corporations like Sony and fucking Microsoft can't get the goddamn chipsets for the graphics cards. That's why they can't make any more. Bro, it's ridiculous. Like, I was so lucky to get a Series S. I'm so glad. Like, I'm happy with that. Don't get me like, wrong. Uh, I'm not even complaining about that. I think at most I've seen a Far Cry 6 is that it being announced in a poster, which I can't even remember what the poster is, and I, I don't really care about Far Cry That's too much. Poster. <laughs> yeah, the only reason I brought it up is because I saw it a gameplay trailer for it recently, and while the trailer itself was edited fine and all that, the graphics and everything was just kind of like, you're not really selling me. And... I guess there's a pet gator you can get, and I'm like, this is just like the pet bear from fucking Five. Yeah, and the one from the fucking animals from Primal. Like, it's just been the same shit over and over again for the last like. Yeah, God, the, I'm just years. like Ubisoft. Come on, dude. That's like, that's my whole rant about Splinter Cell. It's like it's literally just be a boring ass like same old same old Ubisoft game. They haven't made a good game like a fantastic like standout game in a long time. <laughs> like, the one that I will say about like Ubisoft games that at least have co op as a feature, you can enjoy their games through that. Yeah, and like games like Siege are fun, you know, for every now and then, and like they mm-hmm. have good games. It's just like you get Watch Dogs Legion. That game petered out immediately, right? Like that looked. Cool, I completely I guess. forgot that game even existed. Yeah, I, I did too. I saw it on sale. I'm like, oh wow, that came out like last year, didn't it? And it's what game was this? Right? Watch Dogs uh, Legion. Watch Dogs Legion. Oh one yeah, from England. Uh, we'll never buy a Watch Dogs game again after the first I, one. I, I heard two was like noticeably better and at least decent, but I didn't play it. So yeah, I did. I just didn't care personally. It's like. It's like I, I tainted my poor 360 with that game. I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so my... sorry, honey. You know, I didn't mean now it. Now that I think about it, I got that on the Elite. Maybe that's why it stopped working and I had to replace it. Oh, oh fuck, yeah. maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very Not happy with being that's serious that's about that, by the way. <laughs> like, Series S is actually a pretty good little console. I like it so far. Beyond that, I know. Uh, I think I, yeah, I asked you already, Shelby. Sometime in the near future, I want to do a, another playthrough of Dying Light. Yeah, you, you because that because too. the second game finally got a proper release date and it's actually getting. I heard about that? I, I did. I I what seen trailers post of it, but I have not watched them yet. It looks it looks good. I will say that it actually looks really fucking good. Yeah, they, they the took only... a year or so, didn't they? Like it, it was like sometime they, 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 they What happened was they actually did an announcement where they were like, "Look, we're not going to announce this release date until we're ready." 
because I that. because of the way shit's been going with COVID and all that, they're like, yes, this slowed us down, and we're not going to rush the fucking game. Now, obviously, there might still be there's a game development. There's going to be rush. Oh, but, absolutely. But they made Correct. the take. They took the time to announce that they're not going to be fucking. They're not going to rush the game out with their original time plan because of what happened and how how much it slowed their development down. Now they're announcing the trailer. And they showed it, and I watched it, and, you know, it, it looks good. It actually does look pretty good, and they had gave a proper date, which I think was December. Yeah, it's like towards the end of the year, I think. Mm-hmm. That well, might so. be a placeholder. Oh, oh wait. Nice. No, Back no, no, it was, it was the actual date. Are I actually looked into that. Dead, um, spiritual Successor? Uh, Back for Blood? Back for Blood, yeah. I'm getting it, yeah. That's coming out in October, I think, so we should make that a Halloween thing we play. Yeah, that'd it's be fun. Be. Yeah, like, I'm definitely, that's something I've had my eyes on. Yeah, so here. while it's been... Looking at the card on the PlayStation, like, oh, there you are. Mm-hmm. Oh, but I can't I love, play I love it yet. You guys are like, what do we play? Like, <laughs> yeah, there's like not a lot of next gen, like official next gen stuff out right now, is there? Like, it's gonna be like that. For a while, uh, probably, you but... got Demon Souls, Returnal, and like, oh, for Sony, absolutely. Me over here, my series. That's like, when do we get a game? Hey, can I have a new mm-hmm. game? Hey, please? drop a drop a game on the ground. Hey, hey, Xbox, can you, uh, you know, Xbox do something, please? <laughs> no, granted, I love the console. Like, it's good for, like, the quick resume feature is amazing. Dude, it, it, you, you're over there like birds sitting outside of a fast food restaurant when someone walks out. Hey, drop a fry on the ground. Come on. Hey. Come on, come on. It's that meme with the guy with the stick. Come on, do something. <laughs> like, um, I, I, come on, Microsoft. Just try. Just really. Now, I, I hope they announce some new IPs at, at the showcase. Like, give me what. See what. Let me see what Bethesda's working on. I know you got you got all the new studios. Give me what you're working on. Supposedly, Psychonauts 2 is going to be announced at E3. Yeah. It just <laughs> worked. Shut up, Shelby. <laughs> <laughs> it just worked. Todd Howard, you fucking son of a bitch. Oh, no. <laughs> um, I know um, a game that uh, Zach's recently gotten into the first time is Mass Effect, the Legendary yeah, Edition. Let's, let's talk about that. Uh, yeah. uh, he's getting a hell of a deal of, for, like, never playing a oh, game I before. Know, right? He's all getting, like, all the for free, pretty much. Shelby. He's not getting actually all the DLC because unfortunately Pinnacle Station was not able to be brought over. Well, from what I actually understand, that wasn't even a fail. It, it wasn't. It platforms. wasn't like a huge thing. It wasn't like a huge deal, but like it, it technically, you know, me being a yeah, dual. like I, said, I don't know what that means. Terrible on all platforms. I don't know what that. I means. never played it either. I never played it either. To be honest. Uh, I think okay. I might be the only one here. Okay, that so, did. okay let's hear Zach's thoughts on this. What do you What do you think of the Mass Effect so far, Zach? Uh, so far, I'm enjoying it. It's definitely one of those games. that's like, uh, obviously, it's very dialogue heavy, and I knew that before getting into it. So, yeah, yeah, sure. But in terms of like playing it and streaming it, I don't know how much I intend to stream it anymore because it's like that's it's the kind of game you really want to focus on the story and actually enjoy right. what it is. Yeah. Whereas actually, when I'm streaming, I tend to prefer to try and like have banter and talk about off topic shit and, and yeah. not yeah. have to focus on the game super hard. So, that's the type of game that ultimately I might not keep streaming, but I'll definitely keep playing it on my own time. Yeah, and I'm gonna watch. Yeah, he'll watch Toby while was, I'm playing it. Toby, I, I just, I, I felt your boner from like over in my house when I, when I was watching the stream. I'm like, I can feel Shelby's excitement. <laughs> say good night, say good night, Manuel. There was a few moments that, <laughs> know, that, that actually, was great. there was a few moments though when he was playing that it scared the shit out of me. For I'm like, oh no, oh no. Oh yeah, like, there was one like, that almost made me stop playing. Like, okay, essentially what happened was, uh. For those who played the game, uh, he was up to the point where he was going to recruit uh, Rex for the Normandy and then go oh. deal with Fist. But, okay, so he recruits Rex. He's going to deal with Fist. Uh, he gets into a firefight and all that, and uh, he winds up dying. I guess he just, I don't know what he was trying to do. I guess run and gun. Like, oh, whatever, I got this. Well, I also <laughs> forgot. I was Leroy the Shepard. Yeah. I just, but, well, um, it's because I walked into happened? the room and didn't realize everyone was hostile. Oh, no. Well, that was, but you breached the very back room at that point, I think, almost. Oh, yeah, no, I just tried, I was trying to beat somebody. I was, oh, I was trying okay. to, I was trying to melee him and be funny. Oh, okay, yeah. But, um, what happens is, is he dies, and then it puts him in the same spot where he died, essentially, but he had a different team member with him. It was Ashley in place of Rex. And I have never seen that before. And I played, like, Mass Effect several times by now. Yeah. And I'm just like, what the fuck? So he goes and uh, finishes that thing up. And uh, we go back to the C-Sec area looking for Rex. Because I figured, well, if the game glitched, chances are he's going to be talking to these C-Sec officers again. Nope. Um, we couldn't find him. And then, like, the, the, latest, the save that he did prior to the save he did up to Fist, 
was over an hour before. Oh, no. And I'm like, And I had done a lot of shit in that hour, too. And I'm like, Zach, if need be, I can fucking just get you through this real fucking quick. But I I said no, and then we decided to look at the the quest markers, and it turns out Rex still had a marker somewhere. And he was just leaning against the elevator that goes to the dock instead. Yeah, and and then he talked like like hey, I, I like you got to him first, and I'm we're both just like, huh? <laughs> did we just did we just fucking Groundhog Day? Like what the fuck happened? <laughs> Not me? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and then uh, there was like one other incident where like he couldn't put his gun down, but he managed to fix that after some jumping yeah, around. Yeah, that was we- no. I had to restart the game, or I had to reload a save rather. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, we have, I've had some weird bugs happening on that game, but otherwise, for the most part, it's been fun. But I, that that one hour of almost lost progress made me go, I think I'm going to take a break. But then I got it back, and I'm like, okay, it's 2007 okay. game, no, honestly. yeah, it's, it's like, very I, and, um, and, oh and I can tell you this: like anybody who hasn't played played it yet, or or um, played only played the original, it is far smoother. The oh, uh, the camera angle for like the way you shoot is better. The HUD's better. It's it's closer to threes. Uh, I think twos le- was remained the same. There was nothing really wrong with twos. Uh, shield regen on certain things like the freaking Mako is a lot better, and there's just a bunch of overhaul thing. I'm actually on the Mass Effect two now. I beat the first one, and uh, now have an added to my favorite one. And then we got to do the three. Oh, um. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm like I'm like super happy that you get to watch somebody play that show because you were like so excited for him to get it. You're like, <laughs> it's so on, pure. Zach, try Let's try it, Zach. Please come on. <laughs> like the fucking like when he did his first freaking renegade thing, he walked up to a dude so casually, punched him in the face, and he fucking <laughs> lost it. Singing like, that man well. <laughs> I heard that, and I just hear him see him punch him like. I didn't know you could do that either. <laughs> like, because yeah, like as best as I play the game, I'm still finding new shit. There's be, cool the, the option like, to do that was I'll shut him up. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that was literally the dialogue option was I'll shut him up. Take a night, Manuel. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for you to punch the reporter. You'll know what that means as soon as you see her. So uh, we we've been trying to find her. I feel Is like we're part of him. I don't yes, she's, yes, she is. She most certainly is. Shelby sent me a clip of him punching her. <laughs> that was the <laughs> first game. Like on PC. He's like, Josh, well, guess what I found for you? I was like, he's like, hey, Josh, watch this. And I like, showed, oh, no, showed that, no, 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 that one was from three. But she's in the first game because in the second I found her, she's like, she got mad at me and stuff. Because she's like, you're not going to punch me again. And I punch. And like, the funny thing is, I interrupted her before she could even finish okay. her thing. Because her <laughs> Shelby, Shelby. <laughs> <laughs> when Zach plays, have him hang up on the council multiple times, and then the first the first time. Oh, I was already going to do that. Whatever. I already knew about that. <laughs> yeah, it's like, are you going to hang up on me again? Yep. Yep. Like, <laughs> see, the funny thing this, is, this is one like, of those things where it's like some of the moments like that are a little ruined because I already knew about them. Oh yeah, you knew something like the big stupid yeah. jellyfish thing. I'm sure because me and Shelby keep big stupid about that. the big stupid jellyfish <laughs> caught me off guard because I didn't know that's where it was. Oh, yeah, you <laughs> got that part like big stupid jellyfish because it's a big stupid jellyfish. He didn't says it again in fucking three. <laughs> that's why I that's why that came out like happy birthday, you big stupid jellyfish. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my gosh. So, um, no, I had so much, much fun watching your reaction to that. <laughs> and now um another game that we were wanted to talk about was Resident Evil 8 Village. Oh, oh yes. yeah. I, no, I mean, you know, I'm gonna play um, it eventually. You know, I know but, Zach probably has a lot to say, and um I've watched a lot of um reviewers talk about it because I've beaten the game myself and uh one of the reviewers I actually um, watched was Angry Joe, because I, I haven't watched him in for a while, so I was cu- actually curious what he had to say. And, well, there were a lot of things I did agree with him on. Like, th- there was a dumb take uh, about Ethan and Rose. Like, he's like, nobody cares about Ethan and Rose. Bring oh, just, like, freaking, no. uh, freaking Chris and Leon back. It's like, bro, they have plenty of games, and they're going to get more. Like, Let do him you not want it. new protagonists, bro? Like, Jesus and, like, Christ. Yeah, no, that's a really dumb take. I fucking hate like, that already. Okay, and Ethan, here's the thing. Don't worry. <laughs> here's the thing. Like, if he even acted like he did in Resident Evil 7, I could kind of understand a little bit yeah, more no, if but, he but, remained the same, but he didn't. Mm-mm. He has more characterization, and... right? He has a oh, lot more characterization. Fuck, Holy yeah. shit, he has a lot more characterization. Well, I'm assuming so. It's the second game in the series. Yes, like, he has. But like, no, like, 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 the improvement is, in, like, 
it's so much better than the first game. Like, and, uh, uh, mm. yeah, it's like talking the, much in seven. It, oh, he talks. Yeah, he talks very little in seven. Yeah, like, it, seven, like the, didn't really have any. The guy didn't really have direction. He had a lot more direction here. Yeah, like and in it, seven, it was mostly just like quips and stuff for the most part. And like, then, what um, the hell stuff like that. You know, one so. thing I didn't agree with at all is like nobody cares about Rose. She's a fucking toddler. <laughs> That's a fucking. What kind of take is that? Like what? Like, it's like, bro, she ain't gonna have no tragic uh, past or anything yeah. like that. Well, I, 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 <laughs> what I what I had to say was I cared a lot more about Rose at the end of the game. Yes, it's because you don't know. Like, listen, you don't freaking umbrella mold people. Whoever is not gonna just show up to somebody's <laughs> random house and just take a little kid for no reason. Mm -hmm. That kid's important for some reason, and that's what makes it interesting when you freaking play through and find out what it is. Yep. And fucking the, the revealed as to what actually happened there was like, Ethan's reaction was so pure and it felt real. They did a good job with that. Ah! <laughs> and then like, and he also um mentioned, like, I don't know if he played four or not, but he was like, oh, we go from this to like Call of Duty. It's like, did you not play four? Yeah, did you? Like, like, I, 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 don't I fucking hate. <laughs> I fucking hate people who say four is a scary game because it is not. I'm sorry. Well, it's scary like, moments, but... There, 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 there's moments that will make you jump, sure. But there's almost nothing in 4 that has, like, a tense feeling to it. Like, and it, like he, 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 he talks about, um, that, uh, about how they make fun of freaking Chris and stuff, but then proceed to do something ridiculous with the freaking, uh, thing you're driving. But I'm, like, thinking... Leon fucking ran through a bunch of lasers while doing backflips. Yeah, and yeah, shit. yeah, exactly. I'm like, like, are you serious? Le like, Leon did backflips through lasers. Chris punches a fucking boulder in, in, in five. Uh, six happened. Uh <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Six happened. Uh, no, so, no. Six had the fucking thumbs up. Six, at, some point. six like, had the springboard thumbs up. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's the. God damn it. Six also had the fucking... No, no, to be fair, this was obviously meant to be a joke. But Six also had the thing where Chris and Pierce could ride on the fucking... Uh, go down the slide and ride on the little horsey. <laughs> I actually did not know about that. You didn't know about... Oh my god, that's actually really no. funny. There's a playground you go by in one of their missions you can play on this stuff. <laughs> that's fucking awesome. It's actually, it's actually really funny. I was like, okay, that's good. That's good. And, 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 like the thing is, he even mentions that there's freaking cheese and stuff. It's like, if that's your opinion, fine. But those are some very odd takes on uh, right there. Almost, the end. almost nothing in eight, except for maybe fucking the the second to last boss fight had anything nearly as cheesy as Leon doing backflips through lasers. I'm just saying. Or the fucking oh, yeah. like walking statue from four. I was watching you right? guys play that. I never made it a part right? of four. But the fucking like, what yeah, the, that's new. <laughs> the fucking walking statue from four. Are you like bruh? Bruh! It's like, it, it's like the lightning, like the fucking take people have about the Mortal Kombat movie not having like a good story. It's like, bro, we're there for the for the violence. Have you not played Mortal Kombat? Yeah, it's like, it's like look at the source material. This like <laughs> from the like, Mortal Kombat. Shit. Look at the source you material. It's goofy as shit. Work. I expect a good story in Mario. Like, you know, I, I just, I want, like... I need, I need, I need a dark and gritty like, story in Mario. Dark and gritty <laughs> Mario would be hilarious. It's like, uh, if anything, 6 felt, like, far more like Call of Duty than any of the other Resident Evils, or yeah. exception, maybe... Actually, okay, let me take that back. Maybe Operation Raccoon City. That oh, was probably, yeah, that, that was probably the closest it ever got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I retract that. Raccoon City was probably closer. Yeah. I remember like coming um, out. I, I really, cool. also, I really hated the idea that if a game leaned towards action, it was Call of Duty. Like, fuck off. I, I don't no, like that. Call of Duty did not invent action games. Exactly. <laughs> that's why. That's why I'm like, no, sh shut up. Just shut up. Yeah, it's like it's like people seem to forget <laughs> games like fucking GoldenEye and shit that came before that. Wolfenstein okay. like, like, 3D? Uh, Are you dude, serious? Like, I remember, I remember seeing the story about the development of GoldenEye. That game was apparently a fucking nightmare to make. Oh, I bet. Yeah, and it even released like a year later or so after the movie already came yeah, out. Yeah, it was, be, it was because it was, apparently it was a massive license fight over the James Bond Yeah, shit. I was going to say, they can't remake it because of the, how many people own the licenses. <laughs> Microsoft owns Rare. Nintendo owns like some of the IP. Somebody owns the James Bond license. Like, it's crazy how many people have their hand in that pie. Yeah, yep. <laughs> then on no, top of that, the people that actually own the license for James Bond, like own the IP, they're like, no, no more. You know, somebody uh, bought the IP for... James 
on it. Wasn't it Amazon recently? I have no idea. It might have been. I, I have no idea. MGM. I'm pretty sure they picked up MGM. I was like, damn it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was them. It's like, why has Amazon got over everything? It's going to be Amazon, Disney, and fucking, like, what other company is going to own everything? Oh, speaking of Amazon, <laughs> the fucking the Lord of the Rings TV show, apparently. Oh, I don't, my God. I'm so excited. I don't remember what, I don't, uh, what, I don't remember the number, but the budget for it was fucking oh. insane. Most expensive TV show of all time. Yeah, Absolutely. yeah. No, it was. That's what it was. Half a billion dollars, Zach. Per episode, right? So, is this still yeah, coming out? It was, it was like close to like like 50-something million an episode. Yeah, it's coming out. It's just I don't think it has anything re- re- announced yet. I think Wheel of Time is coming out first because they yeah. released teasers for that. Yeah. Which even that. I'm 465 for, million for one season. Like, dude. Now, I had an interesting take. Somebody had an interesting take on that, Zach. Do you think that they're like, we got to go balls deep, build the world up. And then we kind of like people, they, the characters kind of live in that world, so we don't have to do as much for the next season. Mm-hmm. But they, they got to like really, you know what I mean? Like, also, are they going to use the Lord of the Rings branding because that's the name recognition? Because technically it's Middle Earth. It doesn't have like, it doesn't take place in like the same age, does it? It, I don't know what they're doing with it. If it's, if it's Lord of the Rings, it's got to take place within the same time period of the movies. That's what I'm saying, because I heard it would take place in what, like the second or third, first or second age. It's like, well, how are you going to. If that's the case, they, they might as well be pulling yeah. from the Silmarillion. <laughs> I thought it was like more of a Samarillion type deal, but I don't know. I'll have, I'll have to look into it. I'll have to look into it. He hurt himself in his confusion. No, no, I didn't. <laughs> I, I, that's one of the, honestly, Zach, I think that's one of the things we nerd out and put together. Is fucking Lord oh, of the yeah, I, sure. I understand um, Lord of the Rings far more than fucking Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I, I, I couldn't explain it to you, and I played them all. Zach probably yeah. played them multiple times to do a little better job. A better, real, better, real good job, but still it would be confusing. But <laughs> Fucking mobile game. Like in canon shit, but like, um, yeah, the other things, uh, Joe said, like about the bosses being a little longer, it's like, yeah, I'll get, I agree with uh, VR was something else he mentioned. Yes, we've talked about that before. Um, that was a missed opportunity, I think. Yeah, it's like, it's weird. Seven had that, but uh, eight didn't. It's like it, the fucking baby scene. <laughs> like, oh god, I'm not looking forward to that. I, like, I tell you what, Josh, I played a lot of horror games. And I've been scared shitless, I sweat, but yeah. never have I been so freaked out to the point where my chest actually hurt. So, yeah. I was, I was having a miniature panic attack. Tell me, I need to, like, you need to watch me play this. Like, like, yeah. Because I wasn't ready. Like, if, like, I haven't, I'm actually working on that video right now where it happens. Um, But I think I even hold my chest a little bit and to, like, take a, uh, a st- like, kind of lead back, just trying to, Regain my well, composure because even guys, after it happened, it lasted for a few more minutes after that. I, 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 I held my breath streaming. long enough to force myself to cough. Now, I did want to try streaming on my Series S to see if it runs decent because I, my, my PC can probably stream, it just wouldn't be like real good quality, duh, because right. it needs upgrade. But I would love to try streaming because I'm a little more confident. I think it'd be kind of fun, but. <clears throat> you know. but yeah, like watching me play that game is gonna, it's gonna be scary. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, but not all his takes on that were bad. But I just don't. I didn't agree the no, whole thing. Bad takes. I, 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 really I, I fucking Resident Evil Eight solidified Ethan as one of my favorite characters. Really? Yes, I think he's actually one of the best characters in the franchise so, now. So he's what, worthy of the of the franchise. You think then? Like, he has actually, absolutely like, earned his slot as a fucking RE protagonist. And I, I saw he lost his arm again. Like that poor man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that yeah does he happen. did. That does happen. <laughs> I just saw a clip of him getting his arm cut. Like they hate his hands. Why dude, do they hate dude, his dude, hands? Dude, I, I saw a thing. It was like Ethan has hands. Capcom, and I took that personally. <laughs> it's free real estate. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, heard actually, lady, lady I actually. I'm sorry, not trying to cut you off, but I was actually clapping at certain moments, like fucking yes. <laughs> oh, exactly. I, I know, I know, I already know of a few. Yeah, we need to watch your 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 videos on it. Fuck it, yeah. but the one that the one that made me just like I was already liking Ethan, and I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna say the line he said. I'm not gonna say the context. Uh, I'm sure you're already you're gonna know what I'm talking about. But the moment where I went, Ethan is one of my favorite characters now. Was when he went. I'll take my chances. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. You know, and Shelby, you know exactly what happened. <laughs> I, I, I can kind of get an idea. Like, like he's like coming into his own. That instant scared him. It, um, it's what he does when he says that. Let me just say it that way. Okay. Uh, um, it was that going? moment, Bingo? and it was that moment, and then another moment toward the very end of the game. I just like yes. Yes, <laughs> that's awesome. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad. Oh, was it the 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 gun? 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Done. I, I figured I could. I figured I could say that one. <laughs> oh, I mean, that'd be, I'm excited to try it out at some point. Just... <laughs> also, Shelby, <laughs> fuck you, you crazy bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that line, it's like it's funny the way he said the second. The delivery sounded like of that line. Breath, too. The delivery of that line was so fucking good. <laughs> oh, it's like, that's great. Fuck you, you crazy bitch. <laughs> is lady lady d not in the game very much and there are people saying she wasn't in there for a, a lot of time i'll just go ahead and tell you she's essentially the first boss oh okay yeah pretty much because I, mean, I mean they've really played her up i think they started playing her up that she's in it a lot more once the internet's collected well, more yeah people thought to... <laughs> the, 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 the like... internet played it up capcom really didn't yeah the internet's like oh shit <laughs> they're like they're like oh well Thank you for liking our uh, vampire lady. She's uh, nine foot tall, yeah. by the way. Yeah. <laughs> gas, fire with gas. They knew what they were doing. Yeah, they knew exactly what they were doing. <laughs> I wonder how many copies they sold just from just from the fact that people wanted vampire mommy and like. I I, I kept so saying it. I kept saying it. She's not gonna be in the game as much as you idiots think. I, I kept know, saying it. If you look at the trailer, she's in it for like not that long. <laughs> like I'm like they, they, I'm like character. they really didn't show that much of her. Very little. <laughs> <laughs> it's like. And in total, I think there's like five or six bosses in the game. Oh, that's cool. Um, how many are usually in a Resident Evil game? I've only played very few though, so I don't know how many like normal bosses there are. I'm trying to think. There actually seven might be seven. Amount. Seven had a decent amount. Whatever. Seven, Jack, like, seven only had like you three. Fought, you fought Jack twice, and then you fought. Yeah, maybe you only had a couple. I don't know. I, uh, I'd rather play with <laughs> Marguerite. Jack, four, you do you call, or if do you, you count Evelyn, which I kind of don't. Not yeah. really. It's like you didn't really do anything there. Oh, you mean the part where she cuts your hand? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Yeah, and no. Five yeah. if you five if you count Lucas and the DLC. I need to play that DLC still. Six if you count yeah. Jack and Joe Baker's DLC. <laughs> Joe Baker's the best. Got... <laughs> Joe uh, Baker's fucking great. Dude. Yeah, that was. I love that DLC. <laughs> he fucking slaps the computer. <laughs> <laughs> it's just. <laughs> I like I just like when I picked up the freaking glove and stuff from the make a power. I was thinking a fucking uh a Freddy Krueger. Don't forget the power glove. A douche. A douche. A douche. <laughs> <laughs> I love Freddy Krueger's one liners. Like he did the guy who played him did such a good job. <laughs> How's this for a wet dream? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Because of the water bed. <laughs> fucking hell! I watched that in a theater because it was like they were showing classic movies. Shelby in the theater by us. I was like, I want to see Nightmare on Elm Street in the theater. That'd be kind of cool. So I went and saw it in the theater. I was like, this guy actually really cool. It really holds up in a theater movie. <laughs> How's this for a wet dream? <laughs> also, in terms of a Resident Evil Village, I think this version of Chris might be my favorite one. Because, like, <laughs> yeah. the, the, like the way they... The, I guess what I would mean is, like, this is, like, the way they portrayed him as a character was better than the previous entries, in my opinion. Yeah. I always felt like he was a little stupid in RE5. <laughs> well, I mean, he gets his uh, team killed, and then, like, he kind of gets his team killed again in 6. This mm -hmm. one, oh. holy shit, they're alive. <laughs> the, this, <laughs> one, it's the, this one's a, it's the same team from 7, I think. Oh, you know what? Yeah, 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 yeah. Ethan, yeah, it's there, 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 there. Well, it's actually, some of his team, some of his team died. In 7? Yes. You play as Chris, it's a Not a Hero DLC. You're yeah. and like uh, Lucas has uh, these fangs strapped to her neck and shit and explode. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. So, but I think the team is still some of the same people from Seven. Yeah, for the most part. Because it's like the same unit and shit. So, which I think is Rick? pretty cool that he's got his own like proper <laughs> unit now. And just based on what little we got of them, I like their character so far. I I said I I I definitely want to play it at some point and maybe stream my reaction to it because yeah. you guys get to see it if I get into streaming. I, I do want to try streaming only for, at least for my Series S just to try to see if it better quality than my PC would be. Or maybe like be, I I, I, I can see it now. Hi, my uh my name's you Nerfer. <laughs> How are you? I hate you, such a dick. <laughs> so, uh, 
I hate horror games and my friends are watching. Hi, guys. Like, hey. <laughs> I'm a little more confident now, guys. I'm, I'm not really good at improv. But I'll just be like, I don't really like I make a good stream. Because I would just like stare mm. at the game. Also, like, I, I've All been right, can I go over here. I've been practicing <laughs> improv to such a degree. We talked about it a little bit before we started the show, but Joey had posted a picture of himself with, in, with a fucking helmet on. <laughs> yeah, from, I just, from go I just recently go karting. Yeah, from, from go karting and fucking. I, I have been awake for like 30 seconds and I crafted a whole story about him fucking wearing a level 2.7 helmet trying to fight a Karen who wants a free meal and I'm just like I'm like I did that with one eye open the other eye half open and then I went back to sleep Elby's add-on is great too like you guys played off each other very well <laughs> <laughs> usually we do that usually we can do I'm that saying, when you've been friends with somebody for a long time you play off each other so well that it's Makes for good comedy. The part where I mentioned Rage Roni had him laughing. The fucking Rage Roni earmuffs or whatever the fuck it was. <laughs> Trademark Rage Roni earmuffs. <laughs> that way I don't have to listen to this bullshit anyway. <laughs> that, that reminds me of the joke you made when we were playing It Takes Two. You're like, I don't need these glasses because I can see this shit clearly. Yeah, like Justin, I don't think he knows that. That's actually a funny moment. Oh, that I'm yeah. glad you brought up because I almost that almost slipped my mind. But basically, the game starts up. Um, you choose either the mommy or the daddy. We both wanted to be the daddy. And then of course kinda, you do. And uh, both of us were just bickering uh, back and forth, and he's like, why don't you want to be the mommy? And I'm like, why don't you want to be the mommy? Because I want to be the daddy. It's like, don't you want that one of the glasses, man? I mean, be a part of it? I'm like, no. Because I can see that through that bullshit clearly. <laughs> he's like, I don't need glasses. I can oh, see through this bullshit clearly. <laughs> I want to be the mommy. No, and you know, and you know what, Shelby? You know what? You're, you're probably more happy you got the mommy because you can then you got that Mortal Kombat fight on the fucking plane. Oh yes, that was I fucking amazing. Watch this playthrough. Did you guys record this? Or is it up yet? Yeah, well, I uh, did. we he streamed, streamed it. it. I, I we're not. We're not done yet. That. We're not done yet. Though. Though. We're getting close. I think though. I think we're only like halfway through the game, Shelby. You think so? Yeah, we haven't played it that much. There's a lot <laughs> of stuff we haven't done yet. Is that the same guy who did the way out? Yep. Yes. Fuck the Oscars, man. <laughs> <laughs> Same guy. Uh, oh, I just remember. I just remember, like when you guys were playing a way out show. I'm pretty sure you were like, you were even be like, so don't worry, Zach. We're gonna find a way out. Mm -mm. And Zach just like slowly walked his character away, like, nope, not doing that. Man, that game <laughs> fucked with me. <laughs> that game was fun. I, I haven't played it with anybody, but I've seen like a lot of gameplay of it. I've seen your guys' gameplay of it. Game Grumps played it. Like it was just, it was it looks like a fun little time. It is, but the fucking the ending of that game fucked with me, dude. No, that's <laughs> right. Oh yeah, because he's, he's like, yeah, that's fucked up. Like that that shit wait, made wait me out. that I had to take a step back and like really process that whole game. Like because it's like it's, once the twist yeah. happens, everything before is like it was all a lie. It's all bullshit. Everything's fake. Shelby, who are you? Are you even my friend? What's going on? I remember like Shelby was playing that character. That, like well, like the twist happens. He's like, who are you? What have you done? No. <laughs> You're requesting your entire friendship with Shelby. Like, that's that's one of those games. That, that's one of those games where I'm like, now that I like have played it through, I'm like, make sure you play that like with like a really good friend because that's gonna fuck with you. Yeah, it's like oh, I feel yeah, like me doing Shelby dirty, and that doesn't feel right. Yeah, exactly. It, it's like I'm also make sure you play it with someone who's not gonna be like, oh, I'll let you win. Okay, so, so I love when like, oh yeah, I know which part you're talking about now. I could totally see that being fucked up. <laughs> Yeah, no, it was, oh, God. We, 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 me and Shelby were like, we don't want to do this! It's like you have to, because like, I'm pretty sure like, you chase them or whatever, don't you? Like, you chase each other or something like that? You have to fucking shoot at each other! Yeah, so, like, one of you chases the other one, and then you have to, like, yeah, okay, that, that we don't want to spoil that, but definitely play a way out, people who are listening, if you haven't played it yet. It's been a while at this point, I'd say it wouldn't matter, but... Yeah, I mean, yeah, but we'll yeah. just, you know, just on the chance somebody... Yeah, that's true. Uh, but yeah, if you're gonna play it, make sure you play it with a good friend of yours and so on. Oh, yeah, yeah pretty well. It'd be really cool. Don't play with a random. Yeah, don't play with a random. No, fuck that. Fuck that. that I don't that recommend would, that. That would actually be the worst thing you could do. I don't think you can't play with a random, can you? You uh, can. I don't think so. Well, kind of, kind of an important game. You kind of know, need to know each other to like know, you know what. You're, I don't know. I feel like that's the kind of game you want to play with somebody. I don't think there's you. matchmaking or anything like that. Yeah, it's, I think it's, what I do like about that, and I hope this trend continues. That was one of the first games, one of the only games I can think of where, in the modern age, where you don't need two copies. Oh yeah, it's, uh, that it's, is an it, amazing it's, thing. And it I takes hope two this, is I hope the same way. That. It takes yeah. two is the same way. I figured it probably would be. I don't know why he would walk that back, but I love that guy's. That guy's like that guy's always gonna be like in my memory. Just fuck, fuck the, the Oscars, Oscars, man. 
fuck the Oscars. And you can see Jeff Keighley was all like, eh, we're sponsored by them. We're sponsored by them. Please shut up. Fuck the Oscars. I think they brought him back the next year. <laughs> you could like, tell he was he, drunk too. <laughs> he was clearly like he yeah, they were giving him he, he was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, he, he was fucking on. hammered. I, I gotta say I respect like his game was good, so you know, like it's yeah. kind of a cool No, thing. the game the game was really good, so he, he's like he's like, fuck buying two copies. You only need one copy. I'm like, okay, I respect <laughs> it. And then like I I'm like, I wanna buy I will buy everything this guy makes. Like, just because of the fuck the Oscars moment. He made that kind of an impression. <laughs> <laughs> fuck the Oscars, man. And I don't think he did he not just forget they were sponsored by the uh, I did, he Well if he was care. drunk then probably. Yeah, Jeff Keeley just probably, like, yeah. oh oh no. Well, Jeff Keeley like, oh no. <laughs> Jeff Keeley, I, I like the game awards. I'm I'm kinda glad that like he got that going. It's kinda a fun little thing, but Yeah, the last few have sucked though. I know they're like fucking giving the game of the year to oh god. <sighs> Control didn't win best style, and I'm like, you fuckers. That is yeah, a giving really style giving game. game of the year to The Last of Us Two was a punch in the dick to a lot of fucking games. Oh, oh, I, know. I, I haven't played Last of Us Two. I don't think I want to. I, I did. I no. wouldn't. I wouldn't recommend oh, yeah. it. I just I remember being at work and you're like, I'm gonna play The Last of Us Two. And I was like, okay, so make sure you keep me updated. And it's like, not even like an hour later, you're like, uh, so I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Like I get it, you know. Like I don't know. That just it, yeah. It's just kind of cringy when you you know. I don't know. It, it was a case where I played, it. and after the certain event happened, I went and just kind of skimmed through the main event course and of the I, game. And here I am, just watching like at some point, and uh, yeah, and I tried to warn him ahead of time, and he's like, "Type of guy, give guys a chance." I'm like, "Zach, you might actually really want to listen to me on this one." He's like, "No," and then he's like. Oh, and I'm like, yeah. But I, I wasn't disregarding what you were saying, Shelby. I was just like, I'm oh, gonna. I know that. I'm still. I'm just like, I'm gonna play it regardless because I want to see. I, I, I want like, yes, I know what happens. I, I've seen it myself. I was just like, eh, I want to play it for myself and see how I feel afterwards. Still, yeah. And then it was a case of like actually having the context of everything that happened before it and seeing what happens a little bit after it, and I'm just kind of like. You really, really just disrespected everything about the first game, didn't you? I uh, certainly did. And I, I skimmed through like the rest of the game on like YouTube and shit, and there was a lot of stuff that's really good in there. Where, which is, guess, lo and behold, the bits with Joel and Ellie. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I, I it's okay. Like, the, I, I feel like the intention was was okay maybe like to, that kind of twist is cool like oh you're playing as the person who did something you don't like anymore but that, like that's what really, it really did it hammered it home that's what it really, really fucking home. like okay. that's what really stopped me from playing the game was like you you, you give us this character you make us play as her before you, she kills joel right so yeah, just, when, and when that happened when i was doing that when i was actually playing as her before you know all that happened it was actually it was fun i was having a good time and then that happened, and I'm like, so what? Let me get this straight, game. You still expect me to play as this person and try to understand their story? I'm sorry, but no. I if they wanted to do that, they they should have done it a little sooner. It, uh, it was just weird, like the jarring, like okay, maybe that you. I don't know. I feel like you they, they went around I the think, wrong way. It was shock value. Only, I think you know? the role or the the uh, direction they should have made you play her story first. Yeah, that would have been interesting. That would have been a nice little twist. Then I, I could have accepted hurt, it. You know, I could have yeah. accepted it at that point. Mm -hmm. I understand. I, I get what you're saying. They the way they did it was just wrong. And then the ultimately when you have have like the first proper boss fight with her. Uh, you don't even get to fight her as Ellie. You you play as her fighting Ellie, and I'm like, oh, okay, you're just you really want us to want this character to be the winner, don't you? Why? <laughs> I can totally understand it. Like I I get it. Like I'm just like like I said, I I don't mind like like twists like that. But I like you said, I think they went about it the wrong way. I think it was like shock value, and then like it, you gonna have, you got you can't expect people to emphasize. You know what I mean? Like it just like. This is a character everybody loves. Uh, granted, he's not a good character. He's he's not a good good yeah. good. As morally, in, like, morally speaking, speaking you know? he's not a good yeah, character. Yeah, yeah. Mor morally, he's not a good guy. So like, he knew he was gonna you know bite the bucket at some point. He, somebody was gonna get him. And like, honestly, I agree with you. I think it would if they had just done it a little differently, people would have been might have been okay with it. You know. Mm hmm. I'm, but, I'm just kind of like they, they knew, it just felt kind of like a slap in the face. I get what you're saying. I, I can see why like 
like I said, I would. I think we talked about this before, but literally, it's just like you could. It just shock value. Like you, you did it the wrong way. A big part of also what That's bothered me mad. about the whole fucking ordeal was that before the game came out, they were all like, keep an open mind about it, you know, try to try to. That, oh, okay. that was a red flag. For yeah, me the, when you're telling me that I need to keep an open mind to enjoy your game, and obviously being open minded is generally a good thing to begin with, but when you're trying yeah. to like wing it down and play it down telling me like you know this isn't where this isn't it you need to play the whole thing and, and i'm like yeah uh, and after seeing it i'm like you got to understand that the first impression you're giving me is that you make me play as a person who kills a beloved character yeah you're not wrong and you're and then you're also immediately trying to tell me to emphasize or uh, empathize with this person and i'm like why the fuck should I? Would I ever do that? <laughs> yeah, Obviously, so. the answer might lie in playing their story, but you've already made them the villain. Uh, suddenly, I don't care anymore. And then on top of that, on top of that, at the end of the game, and yes, I'm going to spoil the shit out of this because I'm sorry, I don't care. <laughs> I mean, I don't think at the end of the game, <laughs> there is no at least for Ellie of any kind. The everyone she cared about is fucking either dead or left her because she went to go get revenge. And then on top of that, she didn't even get her revenge. She went, okay, never mind, fine, just leave. <laughs> and then she went back home and they were gone. And th th there is no at least, uh, or I, I, I guess you could say there is, and at least she's alive, but n n no. no I, I've seen I disagree people, with that. I've seen people saying, and it's like, well, uh, she's thinking about Joel and what he would do. It's like, motherfucker, did you not see what he did just to get to her? Exactly. In the last game? Exactly. So that's not even a valid argument. Like, no. he went and killed a bunch of fireflies to save her from being operated on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I... <laughs> so he, I don't know. <laughs> her freaking surround, like, oh, I'm the bigger person, makes no sense here because she killed a bunch of people just to get there to begin with. And then she, and she, and then, and then she didn't kill the villain. Then she didn't kill like, the villain. She might as well not have done anything then. And... Yep. That, that, I, I fucking hate that. Like I, I honestly, for the love of God, I like. If you're not gonna kill the villain, give me a better reason. Then I'm gonna be the bigger person. That is not a good reason. I'm sorry. Like it's kind of a whole like jump. But it's like especially oh, the I just give you. It's like wait, what? <laughs> I can I can accept not killing the villain if there's a good reason behind it. Especially yeah, you, like in I this type know. of world, though, it's like yeah, exactly. Like what? What good does letting her live actually do? Nothing. I mean, yeah, it's like I can kind of see, like that. That that's the point. It's like I get what you're saying. Like with that world, that dark, like, and the way they set it up, like she's really after revenge. And I understand the whole like, oh, revenge is bad thing, but like, she literally lost like pretty much everything. Like, yeah. and and the whole journey point, she's like, been on has been for revenge, up until yeah, the very like, end. It's one thing if she starts questioning it as she's doing it, you know? Maybe she but did, like, and maybe she did, because I do admit that I skimmed through it, but... I'm sure there there might have been moments when she probably did. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I've am i never played it, so I couldn't tell you, but... And I don't want to play it. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get you, man. I, I totally understand. I like The Last of Us 1. I, I'm, I really enjoyed playing that. I, I like The I Last of Us 1 as well, but it fucking 2 has tainted my view of it. I don't think it honestly. I don't think it needed a, a sequel, to be honest with you. But mm, no, I mean, or at least I, 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 getting a sequel isn't the problem. Getting the sequel that got is the problem. <laughs> that is that is a, that is a valid point. <laughs> a lot of people did not like that sequel. I never played it. So I, I can't really. Like I, said, I can't really give an opinion. I can kind of like. I see what you're saying. Like I agree with you on a lot of things that I, from what I've heard. But as far as like me playing it, I don't really have an opinion. So. It's like the the thing I say is when you go for a dark tone story like that, there's got to be some kind of at least. Yeah. But there isn't. It's just, yeah. it's, oh, we're all dark and depressing and everyone's dead. No one cares. It doesn't matter. Uh, uh, hope you enjoyed our game. Yeah, that's kind of fucked up. <sighs> and ah. it, it, it all stems from Neil Druckmann trying to be too much of an artsy piece of shit. And I'm like, come on, dude. You know who I think is hilariously Archie piece of shit is David Cage. I, I saw yeah. I saw a tweet from him where he was like talking about how much he loved like loved uh, Detroit and how iconic it was, and somebody's like, "Yeah, thanks, Detroit director, for 
talking about your game like it, you know, because it's like so pretentious. He's like, yeah. I want to do something different. I was like, bro, you literally made like a Telltale game with slightly higher budget. No, Don't get me wrong, yeah. Detroit's a great game. I was, well, like, I, I was also gonna say you just made a game that was all about fucking segregation. It went instead of fucking what segregation was back in the oh, day. It's it, just robots. It's blatantly obvious that allegory for segregation. The thing is, though, at the very least, on like Telltale games, though, that game actually oh, no. had it, fucking endings like oh, that and mattered, they, and, and they mattered too. Like I said, it was it was very well done. I'm not I'm not shitting on it. I just, well, I guess oh, I'm no, just Telltale like, no game with a higher budget, but significantly higher budget. Like it was really well done. It's just the fact that like, dude, you made the budget down. You didn't make like a you know, a masterpiece. Like, it's great. But, like, your other two games are kind of like, eh. So. <laughs> Heavy Rain is still I, 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 I want to like... watch Shelby play. What is oh, it? yeah. <laughs> I, I really want to watch Shelby play Heavy Rain because there's some shit in that game that's just fucking gold. Is that the Jason? Jason! Yeah, that's it. That's it. I only know from the memes. Like, Jason! Press X to Jason. Jason! Yeah. yeah. But, yeah. Fucking A, <laughs> so. <laughs> We've been going for an hour and a half. 15 yeah, yeah. minutes already. <laughs> We, we ranted yeah. about the last of us for a little bit there, but <laughs> we talked yeah, about you, a lot you, of things. Yeah, so but like, the, to wind it down, you don't want to do you want to go for oddly, hours. Like, oddly enough, for the most part, it all stayed on topic too, which is pretty funny. Yeah, yeah, we kind of flowed pretty well there. Like, <laughs> well, I'd say at this point in time, it'd probably be a good point to call it the cutoff for this episode. Yeah, we definitely went. I'd say at least a half hour longer than we expected to. Oh, oh yeah, we were yeah. thinking like what, like an hour and twenty minutes. <laughs> we're almost at two take, hours. Yeah. And we well, thought we and we happen. thought we didn't have enough to talk about. I know. I was saying like, <laughs> I was saying like dude, five topics. We might not even get to them all. <laughs> like, oh fuck. We have opinions, as you can tell. Yeah. Yes. We all we all have some flaming opinions. <laughs> but thanks for having me on, guys. It was it was fun. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah. So as for the next time we plan to do another episode, I don't know yet. But next time we'll probably, if I can, I'll probably see about getting Martin on. If not Martin, maybe we'll try to get Rob on. That could be fun. All the Rage Ronies as you can, you know? Yeah. yeah. And solo uh, of Rage uh, if you're available, Josh will probably have you on the next episode as well. What the next episode will entail, I don't know, because we come up with this stuff on the fly. And yeah. uh, <laughs> Joby literally was like, hey, you want to be on the, like, you want to do a podcast? I'm like, I, I can do that. What, what do you want me? And then I started blowing up a spoon with ideas. I'm like, okay. All right. <laughs> Calm <laughs> down. All the... Save it for the podcast. <laughs> like, like, tell me, Josh, I want to do some of these I don't remember. I want to do these. I'm like, okay, you know, sorry. I'm just getting excited. It, it reminds me of when I was sending him 100 messages. I need to get some firewood. I need to get some firewood. <laughs> I literally <laughs> want to get some firewood. <laughs> oh, my God. I woke up to my phone vibrating off my, it, it almost fell off my fucking nightstand, Shelby. <laughs> <laughs> all right that's actually really on? funny yeah it was funny like that's a funny story i looked at my phone and then i hear a messenger ding because he sent me one through messenger just to, just to be safe you know <laughs> hey, you gotta 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 send one through messenger just to be just to be uh you know for good measure right fucker <laughs> I, I worked third shift you fucking asshole that was like i was like really tired that day and he's like mm. Mm. <laughs> I had to make sure you were up early. I need to find some firewood. Don't, Shelby. You know, I will say, you are the reason I mute my phone when I go to sleep. <laughs> when I was on third, place. such an honor. I, I, start, I, I started muting my phone when I was sleeping at, on third shift because I, I just couldn't handle it. I had to put on do not disturb because I was not want to. That's such an honor, Shelby. You really fucked him. You oh, really know. fucked me up so hard that I had to put my phone on do not disturb when I went to sleep. <laughs> Let me do a little bow for you. Oh, yes. <laughs> and you know but what? Yeah. Let me do my. Let me do a little bow as well, and call this the end of the show for fuck's sake. <laughs> I don't have a camera, but you can imagine yeah. me just like flicking them off, you know. Yeah, but yes, this has been episode two of the Connection Check. Thank you so much for watching. We all really appreciate it. Hopefully, we'll see you on the next uh, episode, which will probably be in like a month or two, depending on how <laughs> how often we push these. Well, how long was this one between the two? <laughs> <laughs> yeah whatever you feel like it, you know well, that's pretty much what it's always gonna be is whenever we yeah. feel like it but yeah thank you so much for watching and we will see you on the next episode of the connection check goodbye okay, bye bye, bye. <laughs>